Oh, okay, there it is. I didn't even do anything, it just wasn't loading. Okay. <laughs> How's... Hold on. Uh, is the game audio on? Where is it? Desktop... Yeah. It should be fine. Would a parade of penguins help? I forgot that penguins was a parade. Hold up. Uh, let me hop into Discord. Assuming you're joining. You believe you can hear the game? Okay, you believe it, but can you? <laughs> that That's the real question. Uh, uh, Hello. Hi. Hello. It is I. It's you. You're in my ears. Neat. March of Mongeese. Is that a real... I, I'm going for alliteration. Oh, you're going for alliteration. Okay. Gotcha. A group of penguins. If they're in a, the water, they're called a raft. But if they're on land, they're called a waddle. <laughs> That's really cute. <laughs> a raft of penguins. A waddle. A raft of, of penguins. penguins. Uh, whereas for mongooses, it's the pro is mongooses, not mongeese. Eh, uh, they're called mongoose. a mob, a pack, a gang, or a troop. Huh. A gang of mongeese. Just snapping. Alright, we are going to finish episode three. Turn about samurai. Good stuff. Hopefully. So, what? I missed out on like an entire week of like everything. Did, did you do anything last week for? I did not. I did not. Okay. I was okay. going to uh, 
on Sunday, and I I had to cancel because of stuff. Okay, because up. I missed out on like an entire week because I was sick. Yeah, yeah. You're feeling better now. Oh yeah, much better. I feel back to normal. That's good. Well, normal for me. <laughs> normal for you. <laughs> um, uh, let, let's be honest here. I'm not a normal person. No. <laughs> It's okay. I don't know anybody normal. Well, Health-wise, I apparently am. I'm I, I'm very average when it comes to health. Yeah. <laughs> um. Let's see. No, I. So Metroid Dread came out Friday. So I streamed it all day Friday, and then, uh, with what time I had on Saturday, and finished it. Uh, and then Sunday, some stuff came up, and uh, I figured I should just, you know, take a break, so I, I just That's fair. It. Breaks breaks are good. They are. <laughs> I um. I need another one. <laughs> uh that was a close one, huh Mia? Really? Too bad I'm sorry I missed it. Hi Maya. She's back. Look at her. <laughs> so what happened? Well, I think I've got a pretty good idea who did it. Now all I need is motive and proof. Wow, good going, Nick. Under the initial trial system. Uh, tomorrow is the last day we have. Initial trial, was that? That's the new court system they introduced two or three years ago. They had so many cases in the system, they decided to speed the whole process up. So under that system, trials have to end in three days. Yeah, pretty much. Well, we've no time to waste. So is that the max that I'm going to have? Do I have... Oh, no, I don't. Ugh. It's been a long day. <laughs> I did pretty much that... everything at work. What? That that's fair. I've had a chill, no, dude, 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 dude. I I don't have my walking cast anymore. That's good. I'm really glad that you don't have to walk anymore. My walking cast is done. No more walking. No more walking. I can be a lazy. Fuck. Uh, hold up. I. Oops. Uh... Kind of. Hooray! No walking. I don't get it, Maya. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the samurai uh, costume? What? You mean Mr. Hammer was wearing the costume? Yeah. But Hammer was the victim. Oh, you missed a lot, Maya. Why would he go through the trouble of stealing it? Uh, how are the audio levels? I'm assuming everything's fine. But, like... Testing, testing, this is me talking and seeing how loud I am. That's you testing. Hi! Hi. I am indeed a person who tests audio, and I'm gonna trust Sam on this because I'm lazy to. Yeah. Walking is good for you, though? It's not. Testing, testing. Hey, wow, that's you. I'm loud, hi! <laughs> yeah, that's alright. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what we have to find out. Director's alibi. What happened with the director's testimony? Uh, it's pretty clear that the producer and the director were both in the trailer, though the director is still kind of gross. Which means that the killer has to be one of them. Sam, you missed me meeting the director. He is right. great. Right. You, you remember don't, don't director, you... man? Uh, are you just gonna share your screen so I can voice Will? Oh, yeah. Alright. If, if Will shows up again. <laughs> Maybe he's dead too. Uh, where is... Nah, if anything, it's probably a steep. Yeah, maybe. Screen share! Go live. Woo! Screen share! What? Oh, I have game music now. Let's go! You can hear it now? Yeah, I'm really good. Wait, I can't hear you. Why can't you hear me? Oh, okay, now I can. I don't know, you were weird for a second. Weird. You did miss a lot of things. You missed a lot of things. Uh, oh, yeah! Uh, which means that the killer has to be one of them. Really? Why? Because the real scene of the crime was Studio 2, where that trailer is. Nutty. Am I always this excitable? Yes. <laughs> Have you noticed anything that might help us? Can't see what's going on when Mia is here. So no, I haven't noticed anything. Right. Maybe we should go to talk to... Uh, go talk to... Whoop! So I guess we'll go talk to Whoop. <laughs> Whooper. Whoopa. 
Oh, great, it's me. It's Harry Chessman. I forgot what voice I did for him. I missed a right. You did very well again. T yeah, I, it's been a minute. Very well, again. Very well again. Today. today. Thank you. <laughs> today. today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, could you not look like you're about to burst into tears? He's just a softie. He is. Wow, He's Nick. He's a big old teddy bear. <laughs> He's adorable. I love him. You must have really wowed him in there. And could you wipe that grin off your face? Hey, whoop. Only one day left. Let's make it count. Yes. Though, there's not really anything I can do to help. You could not be guilty. Have you ever considered that? I'm not really sure what I can do either. Please, it's no laughing matter. Go oh boy, depressing music. The producer! Could you tell me more about Miss Vasquez? Oh, the producer? She's well respected in the industry. They say she's a genius. Who's they? A genius? She's been at Global Studios for five years now. Right or wrong, and nobody dares to be different these days. Why's that? Ever since she came on board, we've had nothing but hits. Global Studios was on its knees, but she picked it up and made it shine. Oh, and... And what? N nothing. Forget it. Don't you do that! <laughs> I've only heard rumors, anyhow. It helps! Can I press him? <laughs> well! <laughs> I was wondering about Mr. Hammer. He was a big star back in the day, right? But then he just dropped off the face of the Earth. Oh. Uh, yes, you're right. In fact, he was my role model when I started in the business. But... You just stopped taking on big roles. That's when he became, began appearing in little productions at Global. How could he do that? I was really looking forward to a sequel to Samurai Summer. He just gave up being a star five years ago. Actually, now that I think about it... That was when Miss Vasquez came to Global. Oh, the music stopped. That's not good. <laughs> oh. Five years ago? Oh. Can you tell me anything about Mr. Manella? Oh, he's a creep. <laughs> oh, he used to be a modern straight-to-video director. But something in his work caught Vasquez's eye. She brought the Steel Samurai idea to him. Now, everyone knows the name Sal Manella. God, I forgot that was his full name. <laughs> <laughs> I hear he's pretty much at her beck and call, though. Whenever she says jump, he asks how high, and all that. I can imagine him being at her beck and call, though. I can't imagine him jumping. <laughs> <laughs> Neither can I. No. <laughs> uh... <laughs> All right, I guess I'm going to the studio. Oh no! <laughs> Is that you? There was my phone. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bold windbag sure is quiet today. You know, this place is really peaceful like this. Nick, I think her guard's out. Yeah, I bet we could even eat those donuts in the guard station if we wanted. <laughs> you eat, you die. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> ah, she's alive. <laughs> 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 so about Vasquez. I was wondering about D. Vasquez, the, the producer. Studio Bigwigs love her, so she always gets her way. Voice he had for her. Oh, right. The old lady. Old voice. hag voice. Look. <clears throat> uh, do you not like the producer? Nobody does. Look, the studio people don't want me talking about her, so sorry. Bootleg oh. Wolverine. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, all right, I can see it. I thought you were talking about her for a second, and I'm like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> No, she, she looks nothing but like Wolverine. But no. Will, however... Will, Will looks a little like bootleg Wolverine. Just I mean, I've been told I look like a discount Tony Stark. Mm. I don't know about Tony. Maybe... Maybe discount Steve Rogers. No, I mean, like with my, with my hair short. Like really short. Oh, okay. Maybe. Um, there's so like not last year, but the year before, I I basically got my head shaved. Mm. I don't think I saw. Um, that. and so like when it grew when it grew out a little bit, um, I went to my local game shop. I was wearing my glasses, and they're transition glasses. So outside for a little bit, sunglasses, walk in. Someone I knew said, "Dude, you look like a discount Tony Stark." <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, there we go. Uh, Alright. Can I ask you about Sal Manella, the director? Sal? He's soft, a pushover, does whatever Vasquez tells him to. She treats him like dirt, but I think he likes it. Gross! <laughs> Why would anyone like being treated like dirt? That doesn't make any sense, does it, Nick? N no. It's his tank! <laughs> what? <laughs> Hammer! <laughs> <laughs> I heard about what you said today, cheeky whippersnapper. Poor old Hammer, you drag his star down from the sky and stomp it! Calling him a criminal, a thief! I... Yeah, you oughta... I won't forget this. <laughs> She's really mad this time. You listen to me, Whippersnapper. My poor old hammer would never do such a thing. Why would he steal the powers of his costume so he could sneak by me? He would never stoop so low. It's impossible. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Uh... uh. Let's go to employee area first. This. I guess they're not filming today either. I did want to see them filming just one time. This trial will be over and done by tomorrow. You can come see them film later. I guess. This is where you found that bottle of sleeping pills, right? Yep. I wonder if there are any other clues lying around. There's gumshoe! No, no, no. No touching! I will touch all of it. Oh, you're gonna his abs? I... Does he have abs? I mean, look at him! He's gotta have abs! There's gotta be a swimsuit trial, right? There's probably a sim swimsuit trial in one of the games. <laughs> it's an anime. It. There has to yeah, be a swimsuit a, episode. There's, there's a swimsuit episode for sure! Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's just chilling on the beach, and then there's some sort of murder, and Phoenix has to go to beach court in his swimsuit and everything. Yeah. <laughs> And we're gonna see a uh, gumshoe with this uh, big barrel chest and abs. Yeah, it'll be a good time. Miles doesn't get a swimsuit. He's just in his suit because he's such a jerk. <laughs> Sorry, pal. No, no, no. Miles <clears throat> would be wearing like red swim trunks. Yeah, probably. Anime probably has a <clears throat> swimsuit. Like he episode. wouldn't be built, but like he wouldn't be like flabby either. He'd be like you know just like an average dude. Yeah, he just just a dude. Same for Phoenix. Didn't mean to frighten you. Except. Oh, wait. Want to see my badge? <laughs> uh, didn't mean. I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> I guess I could be a little dramat dramatic. Why is it spelled dramatic? that way? Dramatic? No at times. Shut up, gumshoe. Shut up. I suppose it's the actor in me. Dramatic indeed. Anyway, I'm here to examine the plate on the table. Are you looking for sleeping pills? Yeah, pal. Traces thereof. Okay. <laughs> That's the French way? Well, they're wrong. The plate! I mean, they're French, so of course they're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so you're looking for uh, traces of the sleeping pills? How? For a thorough examination, I gotta take the plate back to the precinct. But I have the capabilities to make a cursory examination right here. 
Our science guy gave me some testing solution. This reacts to these sleeping pills, see? If there are traces, it'll change color. Wow, neat. Welcome, Shu. Wow. What are you waiting for? Wow, neat. <laughs> now, now, everyone. Everything in due time, pal. Are we leaving? What? <laughs> I had two more things to ask you. Well, the testing solution on the plate changed color, all right. So the food on this plate has been late with sleeping pills. <clears throat> Looks like it. Steak plate! Good, I have that now. On it are traces of sleeping pills and a large bone. Yeah, and some weird green stuff. The investigation. How goes the investigation? Tell the truth, it's a real mess, pal. Some people think we should pursue the case we already have against powers. And some people think we should switch suspects. Uh, what do you think, Detective Gumshoe? Well, pal, I hate to admit it. But I'm not sure I buy the case against Powers anymore. Feel kind of bad for Edgeworth, though. I don't. I don't. <laughs> How that is that? Yeah, it kind of sucks. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Just a little bit. Man, you should have seen that second case. He... He is so underhanded. <laughs> and doing very illegal things. <laughs> <laughs> Edgeworth is out of control. Yeah, he was in the waiting room and he crushed this paper cup with hot, hot coffee in it. Oh, talk about burns, pal. Wow, the fury of Edgeworth. Yeah, crushing paper cups. <laughs> cups, bottles? Say, whatever happened with that empty bottle? Oh, the bottle of sleeping pills. Well, I got some good news for you about that. They found the victim, Jack Hammer's prints on the bottle. So that means... Yep, sounds like the one who put Powers to sleep was none other than the victim. So I was right. I thought we established this. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure we did, but now it's reconfirmed, I guess. <laughs> uh, I don't... I guess since he gave me everything. I don't think there's anything to really look for in here. Go to the dressing room. Oh, hi, Penny. Why are you here? I was kind of expecting Sal, to be honest. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, I was just cleaning up the dressing room. I guess Whip won't be using it anymore, so... What? Why? But Whip's innocent. Yeah, and I'm really grateful for all you've done. But this week is the last episode of the Steel Samurai. Ooh, that sucks, Maya. Alright, Penny, oh, what no. do you got? <laughs> uh, I was wondering if I could ask you about Hammer. Yeah? On the day of the murder, he went to Studio 2. I thought he went to Studio 1. He stole the Steel Samurai costume, too. What? Why would Mr. Hammer do something like that? Oh, I guess the rumor must be true then. Here we are again with the rumors. Stop having rumors! Showbiz. Yeah, Miss Vasquez, that producer, had some kind of hold on Hammer. She had some dirt on him. He'd do anything she said, apparently. Ooh. Thank you, Penny. Some dirt? What dirt? Dirt. You know, bad stuff. <laughs> I know what dirt means. <laughs> About five years ago, they were filming a movie starring Mr. Hammer. They were using the new studio, Studio 2. Some sort of accident happened during filming. Accident. After that, they never used uh, Studio 2 again. They left the film set the way it was, too. Film set? Was that trailer part of the film set, then? Last episode. What do you mean, Last Steel Samurai? I know it's a shock, but nothing can be done to save it now. Whoever really did kill Hammer also signed the Steel Samurai's death warrant. Also, I hear that Global Studios is going to change its programming. They're not going to make kids shows anymore. Ooh, ooh, that sucks, Maya. I'm so sorry, Maya. She needs a hug. I don't know. It's sad, but that's what Global Studios decided. Oh, now I got studio policy. Why aren't they going to make kid shows anymore? 
Studio bigwigs don't want the Steel Samurai around anymore. They want to for, uh, forget all this ever happened. They want it quiet, understand? How can they just do that? What about all the kids who love the Steel Samurai? Meaning you. <laughs> it's okay, I'm sure the kids will be fine. They'll find a new hero for them to follow. No, that can't be true. If the program just ends, they'll be heartbroken for sure. Nick, say something. Uh, yeah. I think evidence rather than words is called for here. Here, take a look at this. What? Uh, what am I showing? Is it the bottle? Want to see my badge? <laughs> uh, the bottle. Stop yelling at this poor girl's face. <laughs> Phoenix, <laughs> she's right there. Uh, what's this? This is why you can't stop the Seal Samurai. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Neither do I, Nick. I also don't. Funny that, I don't either. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> Okay, well, I have something, apparently. <laughs> the steak plate? <laughs> uh, are you an idiot? Yes. Look, I've had a long day. Okay, think about what do you have on you that would show why the kids need to steal a samurai? Ah, the autopsy report. <laughs> um, hold up. Guide map. Not the monkey head. Oh, the path to glory, probably. I guess that makes sense. Right? Yeah, let's do that. It, there we go. I'm just yelling at him. And this is... A fan collected all these photographs. The kids love the Steel Samurai. The show shouldn't be cancelled just, uh, just so some adults can save face. I wouldn't think you would understand that better than anyone. I would think. Whatever. You're right. Okay, but what can I do? Well, for starters, you can tell me something. Tell me what it is that Global Studios is so intent on hiding. Tell me about this accident five years ago. Okay. Could you tell us what happened five years ago? I can tell you what I've heard. Apparently five years ago, someone died and it was Hammer's fault. Someone died? It was an accident, of course. Anyway, the producer, Miss Vasquez, managed to hush it up. And that's the dirt she had on Hammer. And that's why Hammer would do anything she asked him to do. But it was an accident, right? Why, why didn't they just make it public? Well, you know, Mr. Hammer was a big star back then. They were afraid about what would happen to his career if word got out. You know who knows more about this? Miss Oldbag! You know who's not going to tell me more about this? Miss Oldbag! She yeah. was <laughs> here in the studios back then, you know? Thanks, we'll try asking her if she'll talk. Exactly. <laughs> Alright, let's head back. Uh, to there. What, you're still slinking around? If you like the place so much, why don't you take over for me? Mmm. The old windbag doesn't look so good. Everybody's doing their darndest to forget Hammer. Who do they think made Global Studios what it is today? Hammer! It's all due to Hammer! She's starting to froth at the mouth, Nick. Maybe we should keep a safe distance? <laughs> Amazing. Uh, five years ago. I wanted to ask you about five years ago? Who told? Who did you hear that from? Uh, Nichols. Nichols? Nichols, Nick. Penny Nichols. Penny... Penny Nichols. <laughs> <laughs> I need a boo sound effect. That assistant we talked to. <laughs> right. Anyway, we heard about the accident. It was during filming with Jack Hammer. He killed a man, didn't he? Whippersnappers. Dredging up dirt on someone's past like that, and the recently departed, no less. I suppose you think this is fun. Oh, I'm just doing my job to protect Powers. And you claim that Hammer stole Powers' costume. You expect me to leave that rubbish? Or do you have some kind of proof? Proof that Hammer stole Powers' costume? I don't know if I do. <laughs> do I have proof? I... You probably do, because your uh, inventory thing is full. 
No, it can it can go further past. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, it happened oh. in the second case, I think. Uh, uh. But yeah, it it fills in more gaps. Um. I don't know. Steak plate. That doesn't really prove that he. I, mean, I guess I guess there's no penalty. I can try. I have proof. Yeah. Uh, my badge. I'm just gonna yell at old bag. <clears throat> what? What's a little empty bottle supposed to prove? It's a bottle of sleeping pills, with Mr. Hammer's fingerprints on it. What does that prove? I'm sure old Hammer had some sleepless nights. Where's your proof that he used those pills on Powers? Uh, yeah. Mr. Powers ate a T-bone steak for lunch, correct? W well yeah. So? This is the plate that he used to eat that steak. You're just carrying that? <laughs> and there are traces of sleeping pill powder on that plate. Oh, she mad. I see. Poor, poor hammer. You did wrong, Hammer. Rest your soul. Oh. Okay, you win. I'll talk. I'm tired, see? Tired of holding it all in. You're right. Five years ago, there was an accident. A fatal accident. What's worse, a paparazzi took a photo of it. Ah. Uh, that photo, well, it caused quite a stir. And guess who made it all better? Vasquez. She has ties to the Mafia. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she I'm sorry, what? <laughs> that was just out of nowhere. <laughs> um, that was a gem mine? <laughs> she has ties to the Mafia, apparently. <laughs> she silenced the paparazzi. Uh, that was the beginning. <laughs> After that, she became a force to be reckoned with here at the studio. I see. But you have to understand. Poor old Hammer never meant any harm to anyone. Hold on a minute. Poor Miss Old Bag. Here, take this. Photograph? Oh, the... Oh, that wasn't bent for any, <laughs> for no reason. Oh, Oh. <laughs> Wait a second. This is the picture. Why does he look so much like Richter? Also, because he is. <laughs> poor Richter. Is that Vasquez? Man. <laughs> is this the trailer in Studio 2? Hammer was supposed to fight with the bad guy on the top of those stairs there. He pushed the other actor and the man fell onto the flower box fence. But how did you get this? It was a long time ago. I don't feel much like talking about it. I understand. Five-year-old photo. Wow, she got real. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna leave her alone. <laughs> oh, who's here? <laughs> Keep thinking I'm gonna find Sal. Uh, think back, Nick, to the day of the murder. Hammer put on steel samurai costume. Then he left from here to go to Studio 2. Right, but why? I wonder if someone called him, like the director or the producer. Okay, there's nothing else here. Uh, I'm gonna go to Studio Main Gate first. Oh, wait, no, I mean... Never mind. That's right. I can't go into Studio One because I gave her the key card. Kind of forgot about that. Uh, let's go there. <laughs> Look at this foe! What a gra- <laughs> She's gonna freak out. Hey Nick, it's Miss Vasquez. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Maya, you should at least try to be polite. <laughs> I'm watching the clouds. Nobody asked. That's all she had to say, apparently. Alright, let's ask you stuff. 
Excuse me. Hammer came here on the day of the murder and... <laughs> Perhaps you didn't hear me. I'm watching the clouds. I'm not interested in talking to you. Do something, Nick. She's really ticking me off. Oh, dear. <laughs> Mr. Powers wasn't the killer. You don't have to catch a little steel samurai. I think I'm tired of the steel samurai. You you did it. Nick, she did it. She's the killer. <laughs> My fey blood speaks to me. I know it. I know it. Oh, dear. <laughs> it's all Phoenix has to say. I was wondering if you could tell me about Manella. If you must talk about that man, perhaps you could talk about it in the trailer. By yourselves. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna, uh, just, yeah, see. Oh, okay. Uh, alright. Hey, look at this photograph. She's not, she's not looking. Where? What? Where did you get that? I, what? Uh, the Old bag. She means the security lady, Miss Oldbag, Nick. Yes. Anyway, you hid this incident from the press, didn't you? And you used it to control Hammer. The wind. The what? <laughs> Sir, it's gotten stronger, don't you think? The wind. Nani? Your conversation interests me. Let's talk about it more inside the trailer. <laughs> Nick, she went inside the trailer. I like that there's an actual reason that that thing's bent. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he came. Well then, what was that you were talking about? Why is she so eager to talk all of a sudden? You were using that accident. You were blackmailing Hammer so you could control him, weren't you? That's why he was doing kid shows for petty change. So I'm a blackmailer now? Well, that's what it was, wasn't it? I mean, sure, it was an accident. But you used it to drag Hammer down from his rightful place as a star. Oh? I haven't pulled anyone down from anywhere. Hammer's career went sour of its own accord. But... You were the cause. You pressured him. And to think it was just an accident. Excuse me. What is this all about? You keep saying accident. Accident. How are you so sure? What do you mean? Must I spell everything out for you? Think, what would it be if it wasn't an accident? No. No way. You mean Hammer did it on purpose? That is what I mean. You're sweating. <laughs> Where's your proof? Can you prove it? Just think. Would he have let me run his life for five years over a mere accident? Maybe. <laughs> and I ran him hard, believe you me. But the security lady said it was an accident. Uh, well, she was a big fan of Hammer's, you see. She jumped on the reporter who brought that photo into the studio. She wrenched it out of his hand, she did. Gave him a few bruises, too. So that's why she had the photo. She's an old fool. Of course, all the reporter would need is the negatives. He could have made a copy. But he didn't. The only copy of that photo is the one you hold. Give it to me. Now. No! <laughs> Oh my god, it's the oh. Mafia! <laughs> Hi! Uh, I think I have to go. Who are they? <laughs> Professionals. They're good at erasing various things. What do you think? Would you like to be erased? I think this, this is... Yakuza. I think this is Yakuza. <laughs> Shoot! <laughs> I stumbled onto Yakuza 6. <laughs> God dang it! How did you- you're, you're skipping your game, Ian! No! I'm so close to finishing Yakuza 5! I could've waited! <laughs> <laughs> the trial ends tomorrow. How unfortunate. It's a shame you'll have to miss it. Tell me why? <laughs> why do you want this photograph so badly? Now I get to start a running away sequence, right? <laughs> this is Hammer's Dirt, no? Many game time! <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> I'd love that. Uh, why should D. Vasquez care about it at all? I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to think about that where you're going. So long, friends. 
Boy, is a race away. <laughs> ha! Go shoot to the rescue! Hold it right there! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I heard everything, pal! D. Vasquez, you're coming down to the precinct with me now, and those other four guys. Hmm. <laughs> Did you bring backup? <laughs> Not bad. Very well. It appears this contest will be decided tomorrow, then, in court. I'll be looking forward to it. Are, are those four gonna show up, too? <laughs> I hope they do. <laughs> uh, just behind her. Hey, you okay, pal? Oh, thank you, Gumshoe. <laughs> Sorry, I was a little late with my entrance. Gumshoe's great. Yeah, he is. I don't give many chances to practice that sort of thing. <laughs> Hold it! Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I was really scared. Huh? Don't mention it, pal. Just doing my job. It's a good... I like that view of him. Uh, sorry, it's just I've wanted to say that line ever since I became a detective. <laughs> what a nerd. Okay, I've got... So no <laughs> I love him. I've got one more job to do today. I'm sure we'll run into each other again soon. <laughs> well, Nick? It looks like we're getting close to the bottom of this. And who's at the bottom? D. Vasquez. Ooh. Ooh. Can't wait to pin her. Alright. Save there. Final day trial! Let's go. And then I can maybe get halfway through episode four because i'm probably not finishing it tonight yeah, probably not. <laughs> judging by how this one went <laughs> court is now in session for the trial of powers i'm ready i too am ready okay it's a final day <laughs> uh i hope you'll be able to present decisive evidence in yesterday's session the defense president presented us with a new theory for this case he claims that the scene of the crime was, in fact, Studio 2. Today, I will call on people present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Edgeworth seems a bit on edge today. Uh-huh. <laughs> you do, do you think if Miles Prower wasn't uh, already taken, they would have named him that? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you may call yourself uh, your first witness. Miss Vasquez is a producer who was present, present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. Present. Can't wait to see her break down. <laughs> Will the witness state her name and occupation? No. <laughs> Vasquez, I am a producer for Global Studios. On the day of the murder, you were in this trailer in Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I dislike needless matter. If you must pontificate, do it when I'm not here. Jeez. <laughs> Shut him up. Very well, Miss Vasquez. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. If she's guilty, I'll catch her with her pants down, so to speak. Oh my. Mm. <laughs> You, you have a sound for that. <laughs> I do. It's not set up. Oh. <laughs> I, I, remember, I remember that immediately after I said it. <laughs> I entered the trailer, oh, a little bit before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp. It ended at 4. I think that lines up. There was to be... Uh, it's been two weeks? Oh, God. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later when we all went to Studio One. That's all. I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you? The van. What was that? Hold on. Oh, 
Okay. My mom's on the phone. Uh, oh. <laughs> there's a van at Studio 2. I had him take me in that. It's her birthday today, so she's getting a lot of birthday calls. I thought it might be risky to walk. Uh, what would that monkey's head toppling over? Now he uses fan to drive past goats. Hmm. I see. Very well. Examination. This is the final battle, Nick. Let's do it. Well, it's not, but <laughs> it's a boss it battle. Is for this case. Yeah. All right. Entered the trailer a little before noon. Meeting began at noon sharp. Ended at four. I'm pretty sure that lines up. Let me let me press these. By yourself? Yes. And you didn't stop in at the employee area? No. <laughs> you always this terse? Yes. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Did no one leave during the meeting? No one. Come on, let's talk a bit more about that. <laughs> The witness did not come here to engage in idle conversation. Everybody else did. <laughs> Stop interrupting the te testimony. Same could be said to you, Mr. Hedgeworth. Oh my god. <laughs> and please stop banging on your little desk. <laughs> it's hurting my ears. <laughs> this uh, is not very pleasant. No. Oh my god. I'm waiting for her to shut the judge up. Uh, there was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. Uh... Fatigued, so I had Sal take me. I mean, she already kind of elaborated on that, so... Hold on. You had Sal take you, what does that mean? It means what I just said. Had Sal take me in the Studio 2 van. Alright. <laughs> we already covered that. <laughs> when exactly was that? I've forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could try remembering. No. <laughs> the meeting ended at 4 and the rehearsal was scheduled for 5. I would think it was between those times. You would think. Come on, all you did was state the obvious, Edgeworth. Not helpful. <laughs> He's not supposed to be, but I guess. Okay, the break. What were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk. <laughs> it irritates me. <laughs> and then Miles. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Wright. Oops. <laughs> it was a 15 minute break. <laughs> ah, okay, this is the last one. I didn't really glean anything from any of these. Do you have someone who can verify this? Sal. No. I mean, someone else. One person is enough. If she committed murder during that break, she, would've, she wouldn't have she would have had time to eat a T-bone steak. If I had some evidence that proved she didn't eat that steak. Find anything? I kind of wish she'd said a little more. It's hard. I think she's pretty used to being the boss. But I'm sure you'll find some kind of contradiction in what she said somewhere. Okay, so that last... Hold up. I think my proof is... The... Not that... Oh, the plate? No. Because that's not her plate. No, it's not. Yeah. I don't think it's her plate. No, Wait, what because we, what, cause they found what? the plate in the other... What? In the yeah, what area. time does the clock say on the statue? <laughs> uh, monkey head. Block the path to the scene of the crime. I just... I, I was thinking of the Thinker statue again. <laughs> uh... Oh. Uh... Four o'clock. Yeah. Hold on, let me... Let me press this again. So... No person's enough. She wouldn't have had time to eat a T-bone steak if I had some evidence that proved she didn't eat that steak. Uh... 
I don't think Cody's camera has anything to do with it. Nelly used this van to try Vasquez after a meeting in the trailer. I mean, I don't know. I don't think it's the plate. I don't. I don't know what it would be. Oh, maybe it's the autopsy report. No, no, never mind. My badge. Uh, it's always a badge. It's always a badge. 2 p.m. That doesn't have anything to do with the plate, though. That also doesn't. That doesn't Wait, have go back. Go back to the photo again. It's at two. Okay, yeah, it's that serious it says Froden number two. Yeah. And that doesn't that doesn't prove anything with the plate. No, it doesn't. I can try that, but No, I, I wouldn't risk it. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Can't take damage this early. Uh Victory scenes. Cody's camera. That's a five year old photo that doesn't do much. Jack's fingerprints on the bottle. All I can think of is really the plate, but like, that's not it. I don't know. I'm kind of, kind of stumped. I want to try the monkey head, but that doesn't prove anything. Ah! <laughs> Uh, entered the trailer a little before noon. Meeting began at 12 sharp, ended at 4. Okay. Rehearsal afterward, we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so Sal took me in the van. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. At 2.30. Maybe? Maybe? No, no, that doesn't make sense, does it? Uh... Do you remember when uh, lunch was given out? Uh... Well, their break was 2.30, so... Yeah. I don't know. So they would have had it around there. And then photos two. This is between 2.15 and 4. Uh, I don't remember what Cody... If I don't remember when Cody said he was there. It was either... I don't know. I'm pretty sure let me let me press this again. I'm pretty sure she didn't give me anything to go on for this. Yeah, don't hear your desk. <laughs> it was a 15 minute break. That doesn't help me. got small brain right now. Yeah. I'm... <sighs> Proof that she didn't eat steak. Uh, 
I'm gonna go for it. Eh, I don't think it's anything. I got nothing. That statement does. I don't see anything contradictory. Me either. Overruled, try to think. Please, I'm trying. Oh, I didn't mean to go that far. T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. Most likely gonna fail this case. Holy crud. Uh, hey, it was the plate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kept uh, saying I thought it was the plate. You claim you ate a T bone steak. But I say you did not. What's the sound, Mr. Wright? Look at this. It's a plate. Why do you. Were you just carrying that? <laughs> this plate was on the table in the employee area. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. Mr. Wright, need I remind you it was a T-bone steak? Exactly my point. Remember if you will. Uh, Ms. Vasquez and Mr. Manella ate at a table outside the trailer. Oh, wow, I'm stupid. <laughs> Yet there were no bones left on the plates. The plates were bare. Look at her clenching her teeth. Vasquez? Tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? I think I know how. You ate a boneless steak. <laughs> you ate the bone, too. <laughs> you didn't eat the steak. <laughs> you didn't eat any steak during that break. You took your steak and threw it somewhere. Like that incinerator! I see. Then what was Vasquez doing during a break? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? Picking on Sal- <laughs> She was meeting with the Steel Samurai. Are you saying... Yes, Your Honor. As Miss Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak, she ran into the Steel Samurai. And then you did it. You killed him with your own hands. <laughs> Don't have such a po uh, non-poker face, dude. <laughs> Isn't that a little presumptuous? What kind of stunner you tried to pull, right? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it. Yes. Fascinating. And here I was worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest. Very well. Let us have a battle of wits, you and I. Please don't. I'm stupid. <laughs> Any day, Vasquez. Good luck, Nick. Hmm. Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh, yes. The Samurai Spear. Yeah. I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? Uh, you couldn't, could you? I don't know. I mean, I guess I have to say I think you could. The other two don't... would completely... they'd kill me. <laughs> it's not impossible. Well, maybe it's not impossible, but... Silence. I'm speaking. <laughs> the victim was stabbed through the chest from the front, yes. I believe this would indicate that the victim was aware of the killer's presence. Now, the Steel Samurai costume is quite light and mobile. Compared to the victim, I am weaker and slower. I couldn't possibly win such a fight. Not to mention, there is proof I did not have the spear. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. The photograph of the Steel Samurai shows that the victim himself was holding it. Or do you mean to suggest that I could have wrested it away from him? Yeah, take that right. If you still think she did it, show us proof. Hmm, I guess that was the wrong one. 
Look at the data we have on that samurai spear in the court record. Isn't there something in there that gets to you? Something odd about the samurai spear? Breaking the shaft has been mended. Yeah, it was mended. Oh, she broke it in half to, yeah. Something the matter, Mr. Wright? Sorry, Your Honor. I'd like to take back my previous claim. Very well, I won't hold you to your claim, but I'm afraid I'll have to penalize you. God dang it. <laughs> What's this? You're taking back your claim. Let's backtrack for a moment. I want to consider whether the witness could have used the samurai spear or not. However, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning, the samurai spear was not the murder weapon. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, Your Honor. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used as a murder weapon. Because it was a samurai spear that... Hmm. <laughs> I mean, it was duct taped. <laughs> I actually don't know what I'm supposed to be getting at. Not gonna lie. Unless, I mean, unless I do hit the samurai spear because it was... I figured she broke it in half to make it easier to... But they just said the spear wasn't the weapon. <laughs> what do you think? Thoughts? What do I think? Well, I don't think it was the spear. I also don't think it was the spear. Was it my badge? Uh, why is the lawyer acting as a lawyer, the police, and the forensics? Because he's just that cool with the spiky hair and everything. Oh, you know what? I see. I understand. <laughs> Wrong! I haven't said anything yet? I know you well enough by now to know when you're going to present the wrong evidence. Jeez, I can sense it too with my fey blood. So pick the wrong evidence enough with all the sensing. Here's the real evidence I can prove. It wasn't that? I thought he... Oh, Alright. <laughs> I thought I was on to something. I'm stupid today. I'm stupid all day. Uh, sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? No. I really thought that maybe, like, that would have proved... Maybe, maybe he got pushed onto the thing... And that would give a whole... I'm gonna do it again anyway. <laughs> Present my proof. The so-called murder weapon. Okay. I did it with the plate, and then I did it with the spear. Cool. But that is the murder weapon. Not so fast. Remember that the spear broke during the morning action scene run-through. But someone fixed the spear. That felt like a trick. That felt like a dirty trick. <laughs> Like, I would have gotten penalized for that. It was a security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who's wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? Miss Wright, what are you driving at? Think about what you're... Silence. I'm the one testifying here, and I will be heard. <laughs> man. <laughs> Are you quite sane? You even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what was. How was Hammer killed? Well, right, can you tell us what weapon was used to kill Mr. Hammer? Okay, so I think I'm still right. Would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was? Yes. <laughs> I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Very well, let's see this murder weapon. Take it. Look at this photo. What is this? Why, that jackhammer standing at the top of the stairs. Order, order. If I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. Again? <laughs> what is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a close-kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth, 
You still can't see it. See the fallen man in this photo? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? What? Are you saying... Yes. What happened five years ago? I like that they changed the photo. <laughs> Has happened again. Right, continue. It's 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Miss D. Vasquez meets Jack Hammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. Then she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer had himself done five years ago. Though whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. In other words, the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way that he caused another man to die. Five years ago. Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? Strange, isn't it? Very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my script writing staff. You deny that what I say is true? Mr. Wright. Let's say, for the sake of argument, that Hammer died at the trailer, as you say. Yet the body was found at Studio One, was it not? And in the evil magistrate's costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One and returned to the trailer all in the space of a 15 minute break? How could I have disposed of the body? The van? The break in the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death, then carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume? There wasn't enough time. Well, Miss Wright, how could she have dealt with the body? She couldn't deal with it. I bet she could move it. She had another way. Uh, it's probably the middle or the last one. Hold on, let me see the van thing. Use this van to drive to Studio One after the meeting in the trailer. I mean, I think Sal was in on it, but like... It's a matter of which one is the right thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet she could move it. She I'm just engrossed in this right now. Like, this is a super interesting case. It is. I love it. I'm going to go with I bet she could move it. Or, I don't know. Those are both kind of the same. <laughs> she had another way. The van. I bet she could move it with the van. <laughs> I think I bet she could move it implies that she moved it entirely by herself with no external, external help whatsoever. Yeah. I. That's a, that's a fair point. Alright, I'm gonna go with she had another way. What if she had another way to carry the body other than with her own hands? For instance? Actually, for that matter, there was no need in, uh, for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry that body. Interesting. Let's hear it then. Please show us how she carried the body. The van. Miss Vasquez, you carried the body to Studio One. And you used the studio van to do it. Recall your testimony. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. You used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then, before everyone else got there, you put the body into the Magistrate costume. <laughs> Hold on, right? Don't forget it was Sal Manella that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Manella was a conspirator? Probably. Probably. <laughs> of course Sal has to have been a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Vasquez could have done that alone. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. They had to, because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They probably burned it in that small incinerator. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? No need. You're smarter than you look, Miss Wright. I lose. You win. It was fun. I win? <laughs> I win! <laughs> 
<laughs> Everyone's so silent. Uh huh. <laughs> Everyone except for you. Yeah. <laughs> so what happens next? <laughs> Don't. <laughs> How do I? <laughs> Don't hit <laughs> me. <laughs> Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? I. <laughs> I lost? Something like that. I just said that. I, 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 wait, so you mean... You Vasquez. So it was you. You killed Jack Hammer. <laughs> Who can say? God... Sh God... Shut up! <laughs> Are you sure I did... This right. We just engaged in a battle of wits. And the result of that battle, you proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. Right. <laughs> but that is only a possibility. Shut up. <laughs> proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Miss Wright. What? Edrith, your thoughts? Uh. <laughs> Edrith is also dumbfounded. <laughs> of course, it's as the witness says. Haha. <laughs> Certainly, it does seem very likely she did it, but uh, there's no proof. <laughs> there's, there's no proof. <laughs> Edrith isn't sure. <laughs> well, I came here as a witness today. If you've no more questions, I'll be leaving. What do I do now? Testify again. Yeah, no further questions. Uh, you did it. Testi probably testify again. Mm. I don't know what I could get her with. Testify again. I'd like you to testify again. Testify again? No one to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before, the truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? You'd ask the same questions, get the same answers, a waste of time. I kind of had a Damn. feeling she would do that. Damn! To come so far only to fail. As it seems there are no further questions, I would like to end the cross exam of Miss Vasquez. Miles? <laughs> yes, Edgeworth? I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. I didn't. <laughs> I see <laughs> very well. Your Honor, I request that the witness testify again. You're the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Edgeworth? I, too, see a little point in making her repeat herself. What exactly did you want her to testify about? Ah... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Verily, I say ergo. I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body? Very well. The witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. Nick, why did Edgeworth... Who knows? He probably realized she did it, too. But... Wasn't he the one that said he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that, Edgeworth. Yeah, but he also hates criminals, so like... <laughs> this is just great. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping to come up with a question. I did not. <laughs> I was with Sal and Oldbag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant... Uh, I just love the double objection, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty great. <laughs> that was, that was, that was pretty good. The assistant was there too. Only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police. Then Powers showed up. The security lady, old bag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying he did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. See no issues raised by this testimony, Mr. Wright, your cross-exam. 
Okay, Nick, we're close, real close. She may be acting tough now, but if you put her on the spot, she'll, she's sure to falter. Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her, Nick. <sighs> All right. Uh, I didn't really notice anything, so... What time was that? We were to meet at 5 for the rehearsal, so I'd say it was then. When exactly did you and Manella arrive at the studio? About 10 minutes before. I wasn't stuffing any bodies into costumes, mind you. <laughs> uh, press harder. Where were the other employees when you got to the studio? They weren't there yet. Well, then you could have put Hammer in the costume with Sal's help. What did I just say? Did I not just say I wasn't stuffing any bodies into costumes? You should try to listen to what people are saying, boy. Boy. The witness will continue. Amazing. Powers was taking a nap, right? <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I don't know if this is intentional, but I just got power nap. <laughs> I don't know if that's intentional. <laughs> uh, did no one go to call him? Remember? Remember what? There was a dead body lying in front of us. You, you expect me to be calm. You certainly seemed calm enough when I accused you of murder. Press R. And to be fair, that right there could actually be used as, um, evidence. Yeah. Wait a sec, wouldn't that be the other way around? Other way around? You discovered a murdered body and one person was missing, right? Wouldn't you normally go looking for the missing person? I have to agree with the defense on this one. Well? Logically speaking, perhaps. But no one there was thinking very logically, I assure you. Also, without his steel samurai costume, Powers doesn't really stand out. He's discount Wolverine. We often left him uh, on the bus when shooting at location. No one noticed he was missing. That's so rude. Poor Powers. Poor Powers indeed. Wow. What did he do? I want to give him a hug. I suppose that explains that. All right, continue. Uh, immediately called the police, then Powers showed up. What was everyone else doing at that time? No one said a thing. It was silent, completely silent. So it stood there until Powers finally arrived on the scene. Sorry, sorry I'm late. Oh wait, I guess that was you. You should have. <laughs> I mean, it's her quoting. So it's yes, her. but. No. She's very good at impressions. No, she's not. <laughs> Un unknown talent. <laughs> then silence. Dead silence. Yeah, like that. Silence. <laughs> hey, Nick. What? Why is everyone so quiet? Someone should do something to lighten things up. Uh, alright. Old bag. The security lady. Why did she think Powers had done it? She said because she saw him going toward the studio. Alright, Steel Samurai. Always press harder. Did the detective arrest Powers based solely on the security lady's word? Perhaps not. She seems to have also given the de detective that photograph. Of course, I heard all this after the fact. That photograph meaning the one taken by the security camera. She's not known for exhibiting the best sense of judgment when it comes to Hammer. I don't think there's anything in there I can use. You ask to be left out? Yes. It seems that everyone else was questioned, and I'm really not fond of that sort of thing. Probably because you did it. <laughs> but you can't just decide who the police will and won't question. Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. They were nice enough to understand that, since we were in a meeting. There was no way we could have been involved, thus they covered for us. Covered for you, or covered it up for you. There must have been a lot of uh, lot riding on it, with all those bigwigs at the meeting. I'm sure her pro professionals helped convince uh, everything, everyone they didn't require questioning. Blech. Went back to the trailer. Script in your direction notes. 
Yeah, they're quite valuable. It wouldn't do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. <laughs> uh-huh. Why? There was a murder, after all. Who could think of rehearsing after that? I guess. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did you think of another non-question? I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Uh, think. Miss Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She would have had to know about the murder before going to Studio One. Yes. Glad he also caught that. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, what you've just said is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Or are you thinking of a ch career change to defense? <laughs> I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. Now, Miss Basquez, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. <laughs> So the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense. What kind of court is this? No matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good reason to believe there wouldn't be no rehearsal. Very well, the witness will change her testimony to reflect this reason. I knew that Hammer was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left him behind. How did you know about the injury? How'd I know? Sal, he told me. Sal, the director. You have to find something to peg this on her here. Everything we've done till now will have been wasted. Believe me, Nick. Uh, alright. Do I have anything that says... about the injury? Aside from that one picture. But, like... I forget if the camera had anything on it. I don't think it did. Path to glory. I knew that Hammer was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left him behind. How would she know? Mm, I can risk that. But before I do... Fan doesn't make sense. Place doesn't make sense. Yeah. It's gotta be that. You knew that Hammer was injured? Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was the Steel Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers. What? Yeah, it was Will Powers who was injured, not... Yeah. Explain yourself. Yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo, but that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Pretending? One person was injured in the run-through that morning. That person was Powers, not Hammer. I think that would have been more on the top of my head if it hadn't been two weeks. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you think it was Hammer who was injured? I already said it was Sal who told me. That's right, he must have gotten it wrong. I think not. Mr. Manella was at the run-through that morning. He would have known it was Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Vasquez? You heard him wrong. You saw Hammer limping. You didn't hear anything from Manella. You saw Hammer limping with your own eyes. Yes, but wasn't it Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember, the Hammer was dragging his leg too. He was pretending to be Powers. And when was he doing this? Well, it would have to have been after he put on the Steel Samurai costume. I went to Studio 2, where he was mulleted. 
Exactly. Miss Vasquez, you met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Hammer was in the Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Hammer who had been injured that morning. Can you refute this claim? <laughs> yeah, let's see you sneak out of this one, Vasquez. <laughs> Very well. I have a question for you. <laughs> That's not how this works. <laughs> Why are the real killers always so persistent? <laughs> Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he'd fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing. Yes, you would need a motive. Why would she have killed the victim? If there is a reason it is unclear to the court, does the defense have anything to say on the matter? <clears throat> In other words, can you prove she had a motive? Yeah. <laughs> I have proof and I'll show it to you. Present to the court evidence as to Vasquez's motive. Uh, The monkey head. Yeah. The it's already the monkey head. Is it the monkey head? No! Is why, it... are you why are you believing me? Is it the badge? <laughs> You're right, it's a really badge. 100%. <laughs> I don't think it is. <laughs> um, the motive. The motive. What was... Motive. Victories... The photo due process of elimination i mean it's usually what i try to do but it was the plate and the other thing before too when i thought it wasn't going to be she's what tricky what go through, go, go, go through your process out loud okay no attorney's badge easy most likely not the autopsy report <laughs> that's not a motive <laughs> um the photo no guide map no Nobody cares. The spear. No. The, the monkey's head. Watch it be the monkey's head. Uh, That's rough. If it's a monkey's head, I'm going to go ape. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. No. That counts as a... Oh, no. So, <clears throat> shut up is mapped to the E button on my keyboard. Apparently... <laughs> Apparently, E <laughs> does this. <laughs> Aya, look, this is it. Why are you showing that to me, Nick? And why are you whispering? I'm just testing it out on you. I'm afraid your test results are negative. Yes, Your Honor. Hurry up with it. We have a certain tempo we have to maintain here. I, at least you didn't get a penalty for it. Here goes, I present to the course. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, no. <laughs> So we know for a fact it's not a monkey head. It's not the monkey head. Good stuff. <laughs> why is not present? Triangle is. And uh, so is E. Everybody knows now. <laughs> Don't bring up the soundboard when I'm presenting stuff. Good stuff. No. Do not. Duly noted. No penalty. Good stuff. <laughs> Clip that. <laughs> what? Uh, it might have been Path to Glory. I don't know. The the victory scenes. All of the winning made her mad. I don't know. Or maybe it's this. It's not the sleeping pills. It's not the steak plate. It's not the van. Uh, <laughs> Five-year-old photo, scrapbook, uh, probably not the camera. The camera has nothing on it. The one yeah. picture that would have ha that would have been proof would have it got deleted. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna go with Path to Glory. Oh, look, this is it. Why are you showing that to me? Why are you whispering? 
Blah. <laughs> I thought that was it, Your Honor. This is my proof. Okay. <laughs> this is the photo from before. This photo reveals the motive in this murder. I'm right, aren't I? Mm. Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With D. Vasquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, the case currently up for trial. It began on that day. Five years ago. Ironically enough, that accident precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. His fall from stardom. His guilt weighed him down, no doubt. However, you used Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. <laughs> I meant to do that one. <laughs> Bringing us to the present day, and Hammer's last role as evil magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly, it was a constant source of shame for the X-Star. One moment, Mr. Wright. We're talking about motives here, yet you've only talked about Hammer. It almost seems as if... as if it was Hammer who had killed D. Vasquez, not the other way around. What motive would Vasquez have? Yeah, that's right. According to what you say, I would have had no reason to kill Hammer. He was a good source of income for me. And I never get rid of useful men. It's a policy of mine. Please explain, Vax, because reveal evidence. She had no motive. Well, I wonder which one it is. <laughs> Allow me to present to the core evidence proving uh, the motive. Alright, well now I can actually take damage here, so... Uh, the photo again? <laughs> Feels like a trick. All right, hold up. No, no, uh, no, no, no. The monkey head, no. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of thinking Path to Glory again, or this. Cause not, again, none of the other ones are motives. What do you think? No thought, head empty. Funny monkey. I was about to hit shot again. <laughs> <laughs> it's very tempting with me, isn't it? It is. <laughs> I put it on the worst button. Ooh. Is it the monkey head? I don't think it's the monkey head. You're gonna get me killed. <laughs> why? Why is it the monkey head? Hold up. Why is the monkey head? I don't think it's the monkey head. <laughs> I mean, I think it's the photo again, because what are the other options? Photo or uh, Path to Glory? I'm thinking it's the photo again, because I'm thinking the motive could just be like he was gonna uh, reveal what had happened. She's like, can't have that. <laughs> Saw an opportunity and took it. That's my that's my thought process for that. The path to glory, I don't really have much of a thought process. It's just winning pictures. <laughs> I'm doing it. This is my proof. And this tells us why Vasquez wanted to kill Hammer. I'd say all it proves is that the defense attorney has completely lost his marbles. I never had them to begin with. Yeah. Find your marbles immediately. <laughs> I'm afraid I have to penalize you for this waste of course time. We're so close. Think this one through. Ask you again. Maybe it was no motive. I mean... That's the only thing I can think of. Should I try no motive then? She just felt like it? <laughs> That's entirely up to you, my dude. She had no motive. <laughs> She had no motive, Your Honor. What's that now? It was Hammer who was out for blood. All Vasquez did was push him off the stairs. In self-defense. Oh. 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 
<laughs> What's that now? <laughs> it's simple. Hammer was intending to kill Vasquez. Nani? Gondu. <laughs> Marbles are bad. Uh. Jackhammer drugged powers with sleeping pills. Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Jackhammer wore the costume to fool the security lady into thinking he was powers. Then Jackhammer made his way to the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill D. Vasquez, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him all those years. Oh, she mad. <laughs> Oh, she broke it. <laughs> huh. So you did do it, didn't you? Yes. I am guilty. It was me. Someone call an ambulance. There's blood everywhere. We're too late. Uh, Miss Vasquez. What happened here? Manuel fell from the trailer stairs. Manuel. Manuel? <laughs> the manual. Uh, Miss Vasquez, please try to remain calm. No, no, how could this... It was an accident. Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene and... No... Manuel, Manuel, don't touch him, Miss Vasquez, no. Please, please don't die. Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose, again. Mr. Edgeworth, where's D. Vasquez? In the waiting lobby, Your Honor, as calm and collected as ever. Yeah, she seemed calm. <laughs> Way more calm than the other, <laughs> other two. <laughs> I see, Mr. Wright. Yes? It appears you've brought about yet another miracle. I thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> I think not, Your Honor. Will Powers was innocent. That he should be found so is only natural, not a miracle. Uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Willpowers, not guilty. That is all. Court's adjourned. Bye, everybody. That was a good case. <laughs> that was a really good case. Hi. I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yes, but it's sad. I know now that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Vasquez. But to think that he tried to frame me for the murder. Yeah, that kind of sucks. <laughs> It makes me sad. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Huh? Tell me. Why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? Show evidence? I oh, probably all the wins. <laughs> I feel like it'd be better to not. <laughs> this is what I think. Mr. Hammer wanted to put the blame on you because... Stop yelling at everyone. It's because you were the Steel Samurai. Because I was a Steel Samurai? Mr. Hammer was a big star once, but he was reduced to acting in a kid's show and as a villain to boot. The kids loved the Steel Samurai, and so he hated you. I... Uh, I think I understand. He could have just told me. I would have changed places with him any time. I think you're missing the point. 
thank you. I'm just so glad it's all over. Ah, uh, you didn't say so. You failed. <laughs> so am I. So am I. Congratulations, whoop. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Thanks to you, I'll be able to don the Still Summer outfit once more. I can't wait to get back into that sweaty costume and... Gross. Oh yeah, he doesn't know. <laughs> Is something wrong? No, of course not. <laughs> Nick, Edgeworth. He looks. Uh, that looks weird. <laughs> Say something, right? I'm not good at small talk. <laughs> what? <laughs> you approached me. <laughs> That was too bad, Edgeworth. You don't waste any time gloating, do you? No, I really want to thank you. Vasquez would have gotten away if you hadn't stepped in. Ah, uh, uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Powers. Edgeworth. <laughs> I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Liar! <laughs> <laughs> Objection. No, no, I can, I can totally see Edris being a fan of Still Samurai. Yeah, he loves the guy. <laughs> right. I must say I hadn't expected to meet you again after all these years. Meet again? However, in retrospect, it would have been better had we not met. Thank you, I am saddled with unnecessary feelings. Unnecessary feelings? Yes, unease and uncertainty. Are those kind of necessary? <laughs> they only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix, right? Don't ever show your face in front of me again. You first. <laughs> That's what I came here to tell you. Okay, bye. <laughs> Best friends. Um, Mr. Wright? Probably crippling debt since he keeps losing cases. <laughs> <laughs> Was... That guy your friend? Best friends. <laughs> what friends? As if. The rivals. Rivals, right, Nick? For now, we are, I guess. Huh? Why do I get Nani! the feeling I'm missing something? Nani? Come on, Nick, tell me. What's the deal with you and Edgeworth? You'll find out in episode 5. <laughs> One edgy boy! Yeah. <laughs> and so the curtain closed on another trial. I caused quite a stir by revealing that accident from five years ago. It was the talk of the town. Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its programming change. They went back to making kid shows again. Oh no! <laughs> Nick, this is it. The new show starts today. You're gonna watch it with me, right? I'll admit, I was kind of surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go through with it. You have to buy trading cards too, okay? We have to trade with Cody and that assistant. Fine, fine. I'll do it. Isn't it great that Whoop gets to play the lead again? It... Is he the pink princess? I wonder if they'll show his real face this time. I don't know. I don't think the world's ready for the real Will Powers. <laughs> He's such a good guy, though! He is. I love him. That's the Gee. end of part three. <laughs> Onward to part four. Oh, I've seen that guy before. I don't know if I've seen the... <laughs> There's a lot happening there. I think I've seen... Uh, I, don't, I haven't seen the hobo guy. Alright, so I know something about this case. Do you? I do. And I'm going to laugh so hard when we get there. How far is it? How far in I is it? Do you know? oh, okay. I do not know. Dang it. I'm hoping, because I'm hoping I can get there. Turn about goodbyes. I'm hoping uh, that I could get to it today. That would be awesome. Otherwise, I'm going to, it's going to kill me. <laughs> a boat. That was a great case. That was. That was a really great case. That was like my favorite one so far. <laughs> it's been what, 15 years? About that, yes. I'm not in control. 15 years is a long time to wait. You can't imagine how much I've suffered. You've 
suffered. But now, the perfect opportunity has presented itself. Is this a show? Probably not. At last, I shall have my revenge. What? That's a gun. Merry Christmas. Filthy animal. The gun evaporated him and then fell into the water. Edgeworth? What did you do? What, an edgy boy? <laughs> Is this a Hallmark movie? Maybe. <laughs> Miles! <laughs> Wait. Hey, Nick. Do you know if there are any good waterfalls around here? Waterfalls? Dare I ask why? Duh, Nick. Isn't it obvious? I need a waterfall to stand under. Preferably a freezing one. What? <laughs> Is that part of your spirit medium training? Of course! Except I've been slacking off lately. I need to brave the elements and be forged anew under the rushing spring waters. Uh-huh. I don't know about any falls per se, but Gord Lake is pretty close. Oh, darn. Sorry, but thumbs the brakes. Couldn't you just take a cold shower or something? Good idea. So much for rushing spring waters. Next in the news, a large unidentified animal was sighted at Gord Lake. Town is buzzing with excitement. Locals are calling it Gordy. In a, t <laughs> in a tip of the hat to Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster. Uh, though its namesake Nessie proved to be a hoax. Locals are confident their Gordy is the real deal. Boring. Boring! <laughs> Boring. Can't they show real news for a change? Nick? The water pressure is kind of low in that shower. You want more pressure? Why don't you go down to the fire department and have them spray you with a hose? <laughs> that would kill someone. <laughs> Good idea, Nick. <laughs> okay, bye, Maya. Apparently, Faye Blood is no aid in detecting sarcasm. <laughs> we interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Strange occurrences continue at Gord Lake, but this time it's murder. Murder! Gord Lake again. The body of a man was found in the lake early this morning. Suspect was apprehended. Sources inside the police department revealed that the suspect's name is Miles Edgeworth, age 24. Edgeworth was an up-and-coming prosecutor known for his skill and connections. He's one year younger than I am. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, there's no way I'm taking this case, by the way, because he just insulted me, and honestly, no. <laughs> That's the end. We're done. Hold up. I, I pulled something in my hand, and I can't lift, lift my finger now. Uh, I pulled something in my arm, and I can't move my finger. Oh. Um. You should go... Okay, I'm good. Okay. What? <laughs> I, I pinched a muscle or something. <laughs> That's concerning. Now does, it's fine. It's, if you say so. <laughs> <laughs> he was guaranteed a long and rewarding career. Has he thrown it all away? Edgeworth? What's going Edgy on? Boy? Edgeworth would never do something like... Nick. Yipes. Maya. The fireman yelled at me when I called him. <laughs> We've got bigger things to worry about than that. They arrested Edgeworth. What? You mean the prosecutor? Yeah, he's a suspect in a murder. Nani? When? Where? Whom? Why? How? I don't know. Let's go find out, Nick. First, I gotta talk to you. What should we do? What do you mean? Let's investigate. We should talk to Edgeworth and check out the crime scene. You're right, we need more info, save aimlessness and confusion for later. <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be plenty of it. <laughs> well, guy, any good ideas? Not really. I do my best thinking when I'm standing underneath a waterfall. <laughs> well, alright. <laughs> Is he at the detention center? Probably not. Oh, maybe. You know, Nick, we've all been in here one time or another, haven't we? I guess it comes with territory. I'm not sure it's something we should mention to too many people. It's one edgy boy! Miles. 
He looks so evil. Hey, Edgeworth, come back! Stop fading out of existence for two seconds. What are you doing here? Nick, I don't think he's in a very good mood. Well, he is in detention. Were you in a good mood when you were here? So you've come to laugh at the fallen attorney. Then laugh. LAUGH! Well, why aren't you laughing? Nick, should we be laughing? Nah, it's a trick. Laugh and he'll get mad, or burst into tears. Edgeworth, we don't have so much free time, uh, we can spend it coming down here to laugh at you. Yes, you do. Actually, he's right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's point and laugh. <laughs> I hoped you wouldn't come. I didn't want you to see me. Not like this. I didn't want to see you like this either, believe me. Because he's a wimp. We have to help him. <laughs> Because he's a massive swing data. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Edgeworth, tell me what happened. Why should I? What are you gonna do about it? Duh. We're gonna help you, that's what. Help me? You? Don't be ridiculous. Sorry? You're a novice. You've only been in three trials. Hey. Sure, you got lucky in one all three. I sure did. But your luck's bound to run out someday. You need real skill, right? Experience. Or you could literally just say whatever happened. <laughs> Nick, he's insulting you, Nick. Why am I always the one who has to get angry? Because <laughs> Nick's head is smooth. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually spiky, but... <laughs> the murder took place at Gord Lake, right? Yeah, late last night. The lake is a long way away from your offices in the courthouse. Why were you down there? I see no need to tell you. Edgeworth, you... you didn't really... Gordy. <laughs> was... was he looking for the Loch Ness Monster? <laughs> no, he was looking for Gordy. I know. I went to see Gordy. The Loch Ness Monster. What's that? I'll... tell you later. <laughs> Why won't Edgeworth talk to us? Hold up. I have to do something. Your attorney's badge? Edgeworth. Let me defend you. Oh. Good one, right? But I'm not that hard up, not yet. Uh, what do you mean by that? Me? Trust a wet behind the ears lawyer with only three trials under his belt? Never. What? My case is near hopeless, right? Every defense attorney I've talked to has turned me down. What? Simply put, they were afraid they'd lose. It occurred to me that it might be my fault that they lack confidence. After all, I did get every single one of their clients declared guilty. I don't believe it. Regardless, I don't want you involved in this. You in particular, I cannot ask to do this. Huh. That's, that's a lot more heartfelt than I expected. Alright, Gord Lake. Oh, come That's Jimmy Gordy! <laughs> I can't wait to see who it is. This is where it happened. <laughs> Yeah, Gord Lake is in the middle of this park. I can see some police walking around in there. Questioning people, probably. Hey, isn't that gumshoe over there? Well, pal, there's enough of us here. Anyone found anything? Sorry, sir, nothing. Idiot. The trial's tomorrow. We need clues on the double. But, sir, there weren't any clues. That's why we arrested that attorney, Edgeworth. It's clear, sir. He's the one to shut up. Shut up. Just you try saying that again. I'll, I'll, I'll make you sorry if you do. So just... Just get out of my face, pal. Yes, sir. Gumshoe's kind of scary today. I guess that makes sense. Recruits. Peh. <laughs> hey, you're that hairy guy. Harry Butts. <laughs> right, Phoenix Wright. Will he ever learn my name? <laughs> And just what are you doing here, pal? <laughs> Harry Investigating. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Maya. Uh, Mia did the same thing. Well, yes, I suppose. I'm here to help. Ask me anything you want. Bring it. He seems different than usual. I wonder what's up. Edgeworth hasn't actually asked us to defend him yet. Huh? Oh. You don't say. Wow, that, that hurt him. Gumshoe, do you know what happened here? 
You're no pal. Okay, uh, Mr. Head in the Fluffy Pink Clouds Lawyer. <laughs> Head in the what? Never mind, I'll tell you. It happened last night, about 15 minutes after midnight. There was a boat out on Gord Lake. In that boat were two men. One of those men shot the other with a pistol. Is Gumshoe and Edge a thing? I think they're just friends. <laughs> uh, the shooter was Edgeworth. A cop who arrived on the scene arrested him. How'd they get there so fast? Well, there was a witness. When the report came in, we raced to the lake. A witness? Who's the witness? You don't think Edgeworth is a murderer, do you? Absolutely not. It's impossible. I don't care if there's a witness either. I don't believe a lick of it. Right. Who cares what the witness says? I care. <laughs> uh, let me move this again. Why is this stuck? I need a snack. Hashtag hydrate! Aw, oh, man. Splish! Mm-hmm. Yeah, I expected that. You really believe him in, it, in him, don't you, Detective? Splish. Of course I do. Splish. But the police are pretty sure he's a killer. Nobody's even really taking this investigation that seriously. Oh, no. After all the Jim help... Splish. Well, I did sploosh. Oh, I didn't hear it then. Yeah, I splooshed all three times. Okay, I just didn't hear it. <laughs> Are you getting used to the triple sploosh yet? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, after all the help Edgeworth has been to us, hard to imagine that no one's standing up to take his side. At least you are, detective. At least you are. I did do lots of splooshing. So much splooshing. So much splooshing. Is it true no one will take Edgeworth's case? Yeah, he's a bit of a celebrity. If you defended him and lost, your reputation would be sure to suffer. What's more, the case against him is, well, it's pretty solid. So it's a, I suppose it would be if they have a witness. Hey, pal, don't tell me you're going to turn your back on him, too. Remember the Steel Samurai case? An entire two minutes ago, Edgeworth helps you get your client declared innocent. I know. I went to Edgeworth. I tried. He really doesn't want us to represent him. Especially not us, he said. What? Well, that doesn't make any sense, pal. You should have heard him talking about you after that trial. He kept saying, right, 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 over and over. <laughs> Nick, I'm not sure that's a good sign. <laughs> Neither am I. <laughs> Why wouldn't he want your help? I don't get it. Alright, who's the witness? Sorry, pal, that's confidential. Anyway... Ugh. The witness uh, saw everything, apparently. I'm sure they'll turn up at the trial tomorrow. Was there only that one witness? Yep. It was pretty cold out on the lake last night. And it was Christmas Eve, after all. Really? Huh. Still, we're being thorough. You never know when you're going to turn up another witness. That's why we're here today, checking things out. So far, we're coming up empty. Oh, it's Christmas today. I'd forgotten. What are you getting me for Christmas, Nick? Talk to Santa. <laughs> Come shoes, sir. What? Find something? No, sir. Not yet. But there was a call from the precinct. They want to hold an investigation briefing. Briefing? Right, I'm off. Sorry, pal. Guess you heard. I gotta go. Any last things you want to ask me before I uh, head back? Autopsy report. Do you have an, any, any info on the victim? Sorry, they haven't worked up the report yet. I'm still waiting for it myself. Actually, if you get the time drop by the precinct, we can talk more there, pal. You're not coming back, detective? Probably not, pal. So what should we do if we have something to talk to you about? Here, I'll show you how to get to the precinct. Come down and see me at any time. Directions of the station received. Hey, Gumshoe. We'd like to take a look around in the park. Can we walk around? 
Yeah, no problem, pal. You got my permission. Thanks. What a sweet dude. You know, Nick, I think there's something to be said for talking to people when they're busy. Yeah, they don't have time to think about not giving you info. <laughs> right, now let's get investigating. Uh, is there anything around here? Winter's chill from the bare leaf today. What is about uh, what is it about winter that turns people into poets? I don't know, but my toes are starting to feel numb. <laughs> yes, my poetry has that effect on some people. <laughs> <laughs> Good start. <laughs> the sign says Gourd Lake Nature Park. This place is full of families picnicking on the weekend. But no waterfall. Not many picnickers come here for spiritual training, Maya. Uh, no. Mm. Tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Okay. Tweet. We, uh, public, uh, let's go back to the beach, or to the beach, rather. Samurai dogs? <laughs> Wowzers. Wowzers? This is Gordon Wowzers. Lake. Bowser. <laughs> I'm not Bowser? Jack Black. <laughs> I'm not sure it warrants the Wowzers, though. Probably not. But hey, look at that snack sand. Samurai dogs. I want a samurai dog, please. I bet they're great. With a name like Samurai Dog, how could they not be? They're a little behind the times, though. The kids are all into the Pink Princess now. <laughs> I mean, like, you know... Nope. Alright, let's check the wastebasket. Trash can's empty. At least the place is well-maintained. No Pokeball, huh? Alright. Uh... Wow, Gord Lake's really big. Say, Nick, why is it called Gourd Lake? Oh, well, a long time ago they used to grow gourds here. No way. I was sure it was because the lake looked like a gourd when viewed from above. You know, like an hourglass shape? Well, it is shaped like a gourd, actually, but that's just a coincidence. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Just... I almost didn't see that signpost. Left boat docks, right exit. That's not... Hold up. There. Line up of plastic benches. Guess the idea is you buy a dog and eat it here. Doubt anyone would sit here and eat on a day like this. Except maybe Maya if she had a samurai dog. Can I not? Wait, what just happened? Oh, that was weird. That was weird. It, it wasn't letting me move. Uh, someone left some poppers here. You know, you pull the string and it goes pop. Yeah, I know the ones. You see them a lot around New Year's. Hey, Nick, they might be a clue. Let's take them. Come on, admit it. You are just you just want to pop them, right? Was that obvious? <laughs> Poppers. I'm taking them. They're mine now. I suppose I can hurt. Where'd they go? Into my pocket? <laughs> Pull the string, it goes bang. It's not very clue-worthy. It, it goes pop, not bang. I was lied to. A hot dog sand, it's closed. Christmas fridge. Fringe? It looks a little half-baked now. The banner reads, uh, Samurai Dogs. Somebody needs to redecorate. Uh, nothing else? Alright, well, the poppers is probably what I needed. Uh, and now I can go to the woods or the boat rental shop. Let's go to the woods. Camera equipment. I like it here, Nick. Look, someone's camping. They've got guts camping at the scene of a murder. Hey, Nick, if they were camping here last night, they might know something about the murder. That's true. Good call, Maya. Let's go talk to him. Uh, first... This SUV has be uh, seen better days. It's done it all over. I can't believe anyone would drive their car down here. Hey, Nick. What, don't tell me you're hungry again. Same. I was just wondering, why are camping pots and pans made of aluminum? They didn't talk about that in any of the law books, so there's no law saying they have to be made out of aluminum, then. I'm not having this conversation? <laughs> Does she have nothing else? Why is she still hanging out with you? Does she have nothing else better to do? She's my partner in crime. Analysis. 
There's food and some magazines on the sheet. It takes a pretty tough skin to camp in this cold. None of that? Alright. <laughs> Look at that sign. The sign says no camping. Funny place to pick to pitch your tent. <laughs> Wait, what if the sign said no setting tents on fire? I don't think they have signs like that. Oh. <laughs> oh, right, right. Slide to the left. Yeah, I forgot that I could slide. Uh, slide to the right. Crisscross! <laughs> I was waiting for the instruction. <laughs> no, I got the joke out. <laughs> this camera has a mic and some sort of attachment. It must take pictures when triggered by a noise. Oh, cool. Let's try it out. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nick. Maybe I'm not saying it loud enough. Hey. I'm Nick. I can't yell. Please, Maya. Can you stop Nick! that? Maybe it's broken. Thank you. Don't kick it. Maybe it isn't set to respond to voices. Well, what then? These things? Party poppers? Ah. <laughs> well, I responded. Who is... Hey, you, get your hands off of that. Oh god, she has April May's theme. <laughs> it was you. Wasn't the Sam Hill? Look what you done now, there goes a whole roll of film. Sorry's nice, but it don't pay my bills. Do you all know how much a roll of that film costs? I'll pay you back. What were you all thinking setting off a party popper in a place like this? Well, I thought it was fun. What? Don't try to play stupid with me just because you think I'm some country bumpkin. Yeah, I know how y'all Yanks think. I say, those southern folks talk with that exaggerated draw. Why they must be dumb. See, the funny thing is, here, I can't do a southern accent. <laughs> I mean, I could. We I all... can't, like, I, I legit cannot do a southern accent. That sucks. I wish you could so you could read her stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I want to point out, like, just how ridiculous it is that I can't do a southern accent. It is. Oh, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't think Ivy can either. Well, let me tell you, just because I might be dumb don't mean we all are. <laughs> Nick, help. This, this, this spitting thing is a western thing. It's not much of a southern thing. Mm. It can be both. <laughs> Who are you now, her chaperone? Yeah, no, rather we're friends. Just figure out what you all are gonna say and say it for Jesus' sake. But Jesus, that's a new one. That is a new one, even for me. <laughs> this is you should say that to the next person you see. Uh, this is racist against others. <laughs> Good. God, I'm God. I'd rather sit through one of Papa's draws than listen to you stutter all day. Oh boy. I guess we should pay her for the film. Watch it. Yes, ma'am. On second thought, I'll pay her later. I'm really sorry. <laughs> she mad. What happened? What? Can't you see I'm changing the film on my camera here? Someone I'm not naming... <laughs> someone. I'm not naming any names. But someone used up a whole roll. Sorry. That didn't work. <laughs> I wonder if I have anything to show her that would get her attention? There's another popper. <laughs> what? Can't you see I'm changing the film on the camera here? Someone, I'm not naming. Oh, okay. He's the same, same thing. Uh, I have to show her something. I mean, I have my badge. I, this is my badge. Our badge is supposed to be all shiny and impressive. If you a cop or something? I'm a lawyer. <laughs> what? Y'all ain't gonna try and pull one of them lawsuits on me over that film now. Cause I'll have y'all know I'm a fighter and I wrestled meaner looking things than you. No, that's not it at all. Please stop. <laughs> to be fair, Nick isn't very scary looking. True. <laughs> We're here investigating a murder that took place here on the lake. A murder? Sounds cool. Why didn't y'all say that in the first place? Go ahead and ask me anything you like. Finally, some cooperation. 
You two, y'all can come out of hiding now. I won't fight hard. You would think of it? Where did Maya get to? Sorry. I was feeling a little overwhelmed, the culture gap and all. Never mind, honey. I can talk yank for you if it pleases you. <laughs> Thanks. I think I'll be okay. I won't. Great then. I'm Lotta. Lotta Heart. Oh, that's cute. This is a cute She's name. got a lot of heart. Yeah, she does. Um, but y'all can call me Lotta. I'm here photographing meteor showers for a research project. Mighty Plates Nietzsche. Uh, Alright, let's ask you the same things again. So what is it you do, Lotta? What? Me? Y'all don't really want to know that, do you? Actually, I'm a research student at Country U, right in the heart of the heartland. Really, that's a lot of heart. <laughs> that ah, is a lot of heart. Neat. Nick, <laughs> she's a research student at a university. Country U. Uh-huh. So I hear. So when'd you come up here? Let me see. I guess it was about three days ago. What are you photographing? Did I tell you all that already? Meteors. Yep, meteor showers. Fallen stars. Stop it! I tried to press up. I think my controller's dying. <laughs> Maybe you should charge it. Oh, it's charging. <laughs> It's the only way I can connect it to the computer. I'm talking about the buttons wearing away. Uh, when oh. was that murder, anyway? I ain't seen much television lately. It happened late in the night on Christmas Eve. That's so Christmas Eve. The man on a boat was shot. Did you see anything? Well, let me see. A boat? I reckon I ought to seen one. Not sure, though. Y'all gotta remember, I've been watching this here lake for a good three days now. I seen enough boats to choke a mule. What? What? <laughs> what? What? Nani! Nani? Barrel, barrel! Uh, kinda hard to remember which I seen when. The camera. That's quite a camera you have there. You all better know it. It's germ made. A genuine Solingen. Isn't that where they make knives? Uh, so what's that device you have stuck to the camera? Device? You, your camera went off all by itself when I fired my party bomber. Oh, that? That mic triggers the shutter whenever it detects certain sounds. It's programmed to pick up loud noises right now. Her yelling Nick wasn't loud? <laughs> A programmable no. camera, neat. No. Set to automatically take a picture with a lot of faces like. Alright, well, I guess there's nothing else to do here. Bye, Lotta. Uh, move. Boat rental shop. There's probably a dude there. Nick, what is this place? A boat rental shop. Can you not read? Closed for certain for Christmas, it seems. Guess a murder taking place on one of the boats won't be good for business either. Boats. I've never ridden on a boat. Really? Well, how about we go out on one when the trial is finished? Hey, good idea. You bet. Uh, small boat rental shop. Doesn't look like anyone's around. They're probably closed because it's Christmas. They'll be back tomorrow. Uh, there's some boats floating at the dock. Was one of these boats used in murder? I changed my mind. I don't really want to go for a boat ride. Why not? <laughs> In the water. Uh, there's more forest off that way. I doubt I'd find any helpful clues that way. The water? Nah, Nick doesn't care about the water. Alright. Uh, let's head back to the entrance. And let's head back... Or, let's head to visit, uh, what's his face? What is that plushie? <laughs> it's a plushie. It's a plushie. <laughs> it looks like Gumshoe isn't here. Something wrong, miss? Turning herself in? Okay, what did you do? Shoplifting, larceny, public indecency? <laughs> no, none of those things. <laughs> We're looking for Gumshoe. Is he around? Gumshoe? Oh, yeah. He's in a meeting right now. I don't think he'll be out anytime soon. Okay, we'll come back. You do that. 
I'm gonna go straight home and stay out of trouble. No more shoplifting, you got that. Do I look like a criminal or something? No. No. Furthest thing from it. Hey, is that the police department's mascot? That's a blue badger. It was my idea. I made it. It's my mascot. I see. How nice. I'll get him a signed mascot of the affairs department if it's the last thing I do. Good luck. <laughs> the chief has a few screws to use. Yeah, just a little. I mean, so does Gumshoe. A poster of a female police officer. Wait, no. That's the latest Thieves in uniform calendar. My bad. <laughs> uh, let's examine this guy. This must be the chief of the detectives here. Oh, that's... Okay, I got it. He's glued to his computer screen. What? Gord Lake. Gord, Gordy sighted. I don't believe it. Shouldn't you be reading something more important? Uh, these are the detective's desks. There are computers and files on each one. Funny, they're a lot tidier than I expect. I guess detectives don't spend a lot of time at their desks. That must be one of the detectives. He's mumbling something to himself. If your mama could see you... No, uh, no, she'd be crying. A break and spit it out, you little life scumbag. He must be doing image training for interrogations. Uh, desk. Uh, no murder clues here? What? Insane. Weird. I can't believe it. <laughs> uh, detention center. Oh well. <laughs> did you do it? Did you it? do it? <laughs> so, did you do it? <laughs> hey, Edgy boy. Hey. Did you do it? Hey. Hey, Edgy. Hey. Did you do it? <laughs> it was really hard for me to ask, but uh, you didn't do it, right? You didn't kill the guy, right? <laughs> Think what you will. I have only one request. Stay out of this case. Why? But Nick's trying to help you. I know. I know that. But I don't want your help, okay? Why not? Look, just go away and leave me alone. Edgeworth... Maya, let's go investigate elsewhere. But Nick... Alright. Uh, uh... I don't know where to go. Let's go back to the office. Maybe... Nope, nothing here. Alright. We make no promises. We're gonna stay up all night. Am I gonna go sleep you don't stay up too late? Oh no. Yeah, I might stay up all night. But why? Because <laughs> I'm free tomorrow. Finally. Ooh! Freedom. Freedom! Exactly. <laughs> My sentiments exactly. Uh, finally a day off. <laughs> it's a good time. Hmm. Uh, camera's rigged to respond to noise, but it only responds to loud noise like a party pop. Uh, or like a gun! <laughs> gun. Bang, bang! A meringue. Back to the beach. Back to the boat rental shop. Hmm. Nobody anywhere. I guess I just have to wait for Gumshoe to go out of, get out of the meeting. I guess I I'm gonna go grab a snack. All right, have fun. What do? I've examined just about everything, so it's hard to say. Nothing new in the. Trash bin. Yeah, I already looked over there. Is there anything else around here, maybe? I mean, I think it would stick out if there was, but... Um... the camera, but nothing to do with the camera. It's not for the camera. Or 
Hmm. Needs to plant and same as Charlie. Maya's gotten the knack of watering it lately. Charlie's been perking up these days. Aw. Uh, it's cleaning day again at the hotel across the way. I hear they're planning a second branch outside the city. I can see the bellboy getting the angle of that screwdriver in the drawer just right. <laughs> Maya brought in a poster of the Seal Samurai the other day. We had a big fight over whether to put it up or not. I know she's just waiting for a chance to sneak it up on the wall. He has asked, if we had more clients, I would probably sit here more often. Lately, I've been spending more time on the couch, watching TV. Difficult-looking legal books stand in a formidable row. They mock me. I tried reading one, and it made my head hurt. When I closed it, I, it slipped out of my hand, then my foot hurt, too. <laughs> uh, who was that with the camera? A lot of something? Let's go talk to her about that photograph. Oh, maybe I needed to present it to her. I was kind of considering that, because she's the only other person, like, available. Alright, Lada. Uh... Lada, yeah. So your camera, it triggers on loud explosion noises. Yep. Actually, the victim in the case we're researching, he was shot with a pistol. Pistol. Right, now, wouldn't a gunshot make a similar noise to our party popper? I guess it would. Your camera didn't get a picture of the murder, did it? Hey, you are pretty bright. I see what you're saying. I'll tell you what, I'll have a look-see at my film. It would have been a photo taken last late last night. I checked him once, don't remember if there was anything on him, though. But what if I got some? I could be witness to genuine murder, yeehaw. I'll go check that film. Yeah, I'll come back now, you hear? Perhaps. She went inside her SUV. I guess we should come back later. Alright, so she's out of the picture for now. So let's go to the precinct. Yeah, gum shoes here now. I guess Gumshoe was still in that meeting. Hey. Thanks for coming down, pal. We just finished the meeting, for better or worse. I get the feeling we're in for some bad news. <laughs> Do you know anything about the victim yet? No, still can't ID him. Has Edwards said anything? Not a word. How'd the meeting go? I can't tell you, pal. You're a lawyer. True. You know, I don't know what to believe anymore. Sure, Edward's a human like you or me. Still, I get the feeling that if he'd done something wrong, he wouldn't go hiding it. That's just the kind of guy he is. Why can't anyone else see that? So they think Edward did it? Well, the trial's starting tomorrow, as scheduled. Hey, in the end you did tell us about the meeting. Don't go telling anyone else, pal. Yes, sir. And do me a favor. Stand by Edgeworth. He needs help, and you're the ones to help him. I'm sure you got some reason why he won't talk to us. Thanks, Gumshoe. How come you trust Edgeworth so much? Well, I think that was obvious. We got a strong working relationship, us two. We trust each other, and that's how it works. Working relationship? See, he always gets his defendant declared guilty every time. His methods might be a little extreme at times. Oof, that's gross. But there's a reason. He trusts our investigation, see? He trusts us to get the right man. That's why I work extra hard, pal. We've got to earn that trust he places in us. I see. Edgeworth is a man you can trust, and you have my word on that. I was wondering, did you ever get the autopsy report? Oh, that? Yeah, I made a copy for you. <laughs> time of death, sometime on the 24th or 25th. 
cause one bullet shot to the heart. No name. Thank you. Nick, can you show me that photo of the victim? Who is that? That face. Someone you know? I don't know. I just have this feeling that I met him somewhere a long time ago. Hmm. Interesting. I guess I'm leaving now. Let's go to the detention center. Nah, he's still not here. Maybe back to Lada? Yep. You're over here now. Hey, y'all. Lada. Wait up a sec. We got a bingo. There you go. My automatic camera took two pictures last night. Two? This is them. Take a look. <sighs> Wait. See? See? He's shooting him with that pistol. It looks like that, yes. But you can't really tell who that is shooting. Yeah, well, there was enough fog out there last night to strangle a bullfrog. But that one works a little better, I guess. But you know, seeing these photos reminded me of something. I saw the murder happen. I'm a witness. What? <laughs> Are you serious? Of course. How do you forget? All right, whatever. Never mind. Y'all reckon I should tell the cops? I reckon no. Yes. I reckon so. What's that? Now don't y'all go trying to mock my accent. I'm a sensitive lady. Okay, so I'm off to talk to the cops. Y'all can have this photo. Later. Wait, Lotta. What? Can't y'all see I'm kind of busy? Tell us what you saw too, please. Nice try, honey, but I wasn't born yesterday. I'm a witness, and that means I'm on the side of justice, and that means the cops. I'd sooner eat the south side of a northbound skunk than tell you- Ew. Lotta. Don't let it get your skivvies in a bunch. Friends today, enemies tomorrow. Or was that the other way around? No matter, I'm gone. Hey, maybe they'll let me do some testifying. Hot darn. <laughs> she left. Her car's still here, though. Well, that's one more witness. What do we do now, Nick? Well, if she saw something, there's not much we can do about it. Hi! Uh... Question is, what exactly did she see? I guess we'll find out in the trial tomorrow. Alright. Nothing else I can do here. Oh! Looks like the police have given up their interviewing. Hey? Who is this? Santa! <laughs> Nick! I think Santa's mad at you. Long time no see, Nick. Nick, you know Santa? Wow. Nick and Saint Nick. I see the connection. Don't be ridiculous. Dude, it's me. That's Larry! Hey, buddy. <laughs> what are you doing here? Isn't that obvious? I'm working my day job. I sell samurai dogs, want one. Gotta get money for dates, you know. My girl, Kiyonse, okay, deserves the best. Not another model, I hope. Oh, she's a fine, fine woman, Nick. It was her idea that I wear this costume. She was all, you go, girlfriend, you know. She bought this costume for me. That, that's great, Larry. It's really good. A Santa costume. She must be really nice. Whoa, cute. Nick, who's she? She's not your... Not my what? No, she's not. <laughs> I'm his partner, Maya Faye. I'm the little sister. Sister. Wow, Nick. Must be tough. Working 9 to 5, having to take care of a little sister. No, I'm not Nick's sister. I'm my older sister's little sister. 
Sounds great. <laughs> Don't remind Maya, he's not listening. <laughs> so what happened? Hey Larry, there was a murder here last night. And since you work here, have you heard anything? Nick, you're wasting your time. Last night was Christmas Eve. He was with Kiyomse, obviously. He wouldn't have been standing out here in the cold. <laughs> Oof. I think what you just said <laughs> caught him off guard, Maya. No, it's just uh, she's not in town right now. She She's in Hawaii on a photo shoot. A model, I knew it. <laughs> well, anyway, there was a murder here on the lake. The trial's tomorrow. Neat. The defendant is Edgeworth, Miles Edgeworth. Nick, why would Larry know Edgeworth? Nick. You don't mean that, Miles Edgeworth, old edgy. Yeah, he's... I see you're back. Yes. I heard noise in the background. And Did I you? think you were back, but you were setting yeah. up your soundboard. Yes, yes, yeah. I was. Yeah, that's why you didn't say anything. <laughs> that's why I was so quiet. I was being all sneaky. Take that. <laughs> I also can't hear your uh, soundboard. What? You can't? Nope. Barrel, barrel. You didn't hear that. Mm -mm. Amazing. All right. <laughs> Why didn't you say that when I pressed? Oh, never mind. Uh, I guess I don't really need to mess with it right now, but I'm going to mess with it right now. Okay. Uh, I uh, I I made a mini pizza because there there aren't, there's not much in the way of snacks here. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it sure is on the wrong setting. Barrel, barrel. Oh no, I can hear it. Okay. Don't know why it does that. Automatically, every time. Uh, yeah, he's a murder suspect. Well, murder? You know Edgeworth, Larry? Yeah, of course. Edgy was in the same class as us in grade school. What? One edgy boy. Sever dogs. Uh, tell me about the dogs. Huh? Oh, you mean sever dogs? Why are they samurai dogs? I mean, they kind of look gourd-shaped. Oh, well, originally they were gourd dogs. You know, like guard dogs. <laughs> the samurai thing was Gyatsai's idea. Oh, she's my woman, you know. She was all change the name and you go girlfriend. She made me that banner. Man, the kids can't get enough of those samurai dogs. Something about that seems wrong. Oh, and guess what? We're getting a ton of customers here at the lake. What with the big news? Big news? Yeah, Gordy. Uh, Edgeworth. So Edgeworth was your classmate, Larry? Yeah, Nick. Nick, him, and I used to hang out all the time. Best friends. Oh, wow, I never knew. Don't get me wrong, he's always been kind of a stick in the mud. <laughs> Studying all the time, trying to be like father. Like his father? Yeah, Edgy's pop was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Defense lawyer? Like his papa. Defense lawyer? But he's a prosecutor. <laughs> Wait, you said defense lawyer? Yeah. Wait a second. But Edgeworth is a prosecuting attorney. What? Edgy's got a proboscis on his knee? <laughs> Uh-huh. No, no, he's a prosecuting attorney. It's like the total opposite of a defense lawyer. Huh, go figure. He always used to talk about defending the weak who were unable to defend themselves. Man, he used to go on and on about that man's... about man's duty to society and all that. What a bore. I wonder what changed his mind. Do you know, Nick? He's quiet. <laughs> Nick is quiet? Yeah. I mean, yeah, you're probably going to learn more about, uh, Edgy. Yeah, I can't wait. What's Gordy? You mean you don't know? It's here in this very lake, a giant mysterious monster. Gordy! I'll probably go until the end of this first trial. Okay. Uh, a monster? Yeah, 
Check it out. This is an article from yesterday's newspaper. There's a photo. Wow, it's really real. Yeah, looks just like Nessie. Oh man, I was hoping that you could read the actual article. Uh, Nick, a monster, a real monster. Yeah, it's probably just a log or something, right? That's... <laughs> hey, there's a quote here from the person who took the photo. What's this? I set the camera to automatic and when we got into the frame, I heard a loud bang, like an explosion. Hmm. Thought that it sounded something slipping into the water. Hmm. I wish I could have seen it. Why would there be a sound like an explosion? Larry, could I borrow this article from you? Sure, no problem. That'll be one million dollars. <laughs> one million? That's fake news. Hi! <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Grow up, Larry. I don't think it's fake. Uh, let's go to the boat rental shop. Still nothing here. Uh, alright. Uh, I wonder if I can present anything to you. No. No, you're Larry. <laughs> no. Larry's great, though. Yeah, he is. I love him. But he won't have anything for me. Man, Miles really just went up and left. Not a gumshoe in sight. If you're looking for gumshoe, he's in the questioning room. Apparently an important witness turned up. He'll be in there a while. A lot of heart. It has to be. Uh-oh. Um... What is it? Oh, nothing. Just something's been bothering me. Can you show me that autopsy report once more? Hey, I remember now. This guy. He's a lawyer that was at that office Mia worked at? I met him once when I went there to hang out with Sis. That office? You mean Grossberg's office? Right, that guy. That was the last name I expected to come up. Maybe I should go talk to him for old time's sake. What should we do? Police have pretty much made up their minds that Edgeworth did it. And he won't tell us anything. Guess we could go look for clues down by the lake. I already did that. <laughs> Penny for your thoughts? Thoughts. Uh, why won't Edgeworth tell us anything? And... and why did he refuse to ask for our help? What a jerk. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're done here. Back to Grossberg. Interesting. Never thought I'd come back here. <laughs> ah, that old familiar clearing of the throat. Uh huh. You mean as something, are you not? I was her understudy, yeah. Phoenix, right? Mm hmm. And you, you're me as something too, are you not? Her little sister, yeah. You've grown. You've come to look a lot like your sister, you know. Well, wait until later. <laughs> it takes me back. The days of my youth, like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. What? <laughs> uh, yeah, I beg your pardon. Of course, you came here to discuss something. What is it then? Something the matter? Unless you want to voice them. Um. What kind of voice would you have? Mm -hmm. There was a murder last night. Grossberg? Grossberg. I feel like you'd have like some sort of like mm. murder. You haven't heard? I don't know. I, I don't have a voice in my, in my head. Eh, Alright. <laughs> I just got up, you see. Well, uh, Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. Edgeworth? What? Who'd he shoot? Well, I didn't know he had victims still unknown. This is terrible news indeed. Guess he hadn't heard anything. <laughs> Grossberg? Whatever happened to the painting? Oh yeah, I do not think it shall ever be coming back home to this office. Can't exactly claim it as stolen. Now I suppose it's my just desserts, old bitter desserts. Alright, so I have a, a random question for you. Yeah? 
At your high school, did you ever, like... Were there fundraisers that uh, students did on occasion where they sold chocolate bars? Um... Specifically, world's finest chocolate. No, we never had anything like that. I'm sure oh, there were things similar, but not off the top of my head. Why? I'm gonna share tweets because like the, the, uh, a tweet appeared on my feed. And I'm just like, this takes me back, and I actually want one of these chocolate bars now because they're actually really good. Hmm. Uh, um, why is the wall there a different color? Big painting was hanging there until recently. What happened to it? He gave it to someone. I bet he gave it to some romantic interest. Love blooms a turtle, Nick. Eh, about that. <laughs> expensive pot of plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. I think our Charlie is cuter. Right, he's a really cute plant. Uh, table for plants. We should put things on our client table, too. I'm not really into smoking. We could put out gum or candy. Classy. Uh, let's put the cost. Your catalogs? I want a desk that, that in our office, too. I don't know. I don't think I'm ready to sit at a desk like that yet. I meant for me. You'd better start saving your allowance, then. What? We sold stuff from catalogs, which I never have participated in. Yeah, the schools in this area, in particular, were apparently really weird. <laughs> expensive looking mahogany bookshelves filled with expensive looking books. They don't look like Okay, they look okay, so... So, World's Finest Shocker is, is the name of a company, it turns out. Really? Yes, and they sell chocolate bars. Duh. Really? <laughs> but you can only have these chocolate bars if you're doing a fundraiser. What? What? <laughs> you you can't just purchase these chocolate bars by themselves. Why not? You have to be doing a fundraiser. That's so dumb. I mean, you can do like a personal fundraiser, like so, like on the uh, website, it asks you your first name, last name, email, organization name, uh, this is a, good for the organization, phone number, and the number of people selling chocolate. The fundraiser. And the first option is just me. <laughs> the fundraiser is for my stomach. I am hungry for your world's finest. Chocolate. I just want these chocolate bars, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am the charity. <laughs> They sell them anywhere here? Do they? Huh. I've never seen them. I'm, I don't recall seeing World's Finest Chocolate Bars like in stores. I always see them like students selling them. Yeah, I've, I've never seen those. I just pulled up Discord. But they're good! I'm interested. I'll have to keep an eye out on them for the, in the wild. Hmm. Uh, let's take them back to our office. We, he won't miss them. We don't need Just go to your old high school and say, hey, you guys selling any of the world's finest chocolate? No? Well, maybe you should, and I'll buy an like, entire case myself. <laughs> I might do that. They'd, they'd probably be fine with it. They like me there. Because yeah, the fundraiser, like, they, they can I come up with some sort of excuse to raise funds? And people get shocked. It's one dollar per bar, I believe. <laughs> I've never seen these chocolate bars in stores. I've never seen them at all, period. Then again, I'm also in the south, so maybe we just don't see them in the, see them in the stores because like all the students are selling them. It could be, it could be. <laughs> they they have a shortage. Can we take that wooden bear? It is kind of cute. <laughs> uh, all right. This camera on the lake takes a photo whenever it hears an explosion sound. That's what she said. It just happened to be set up on the beach, pointing out on the lake. Yes. She decided it was to photograph shooting stars. Shooting stars, explosions, what's the connection? I'd be suspicious of this witness of yours. Oh, I already was. <laughs> They're all over major stores like Walmart and Meyer. Okay, we need to go at some point, and you need to show me. Because I don't believe you. I'm going to come up here, and I'm, 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 I'm going to buy their entire stock. Please. <laughs> Hold on, I have a... This is the only time where it's relevant. 
turns it. Take your entire stock. There we go. <laughs> I I can't buy any for him and ship it to him because I don't have a card still. <laughs> Strange. I feel as though I've seen this man somewhere before. Ah. Did you remember? He was a lawyer here in my office. That's Hammond. Robert Hammond. Robert Hammond. Robert. Robert Hammond. I don't know. I don't know what it is. What's the connection, Will? <laughs> You're the pun master. You could say this is the man at Edgeworth shot? I guess I'll just show him everything. This is the moment the crime took place, huh? You can't really say it's uh, for sure that's Edgeworth. I'm not sure whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Not sure at all. My apologies. I'm not sure I can help you with that. Oh, okay. Robert Hammond. Who is this Hammond guy? He was the defense attorney in that case. That case? Yeah, the DL6 incident. Ah. Why does that sound so familiar? Perhaps you ah, remember? Ah, okay. I got it. Do you got it? Uh, so it's not, it's not a pun, it's a reference. A reference? Robert yes. Hammond. I... Um, Chief Organization writer Alexander O. Smith named Hammond after British television presenter Richard Hammond being a fan of the BBC series Top Gear, which Hammond presented at the time. After okay. not being... Uh, uh, yeah. After noting physical similarities between the two. Huh. Neat. <laughs> I like that. Alright. So it's not always wordplay. Sometimes it's just a reference. Cool. Yeah. There's a literal world finest chocolate store near my grandma's in Chicago. Do you have a favorite kind? Caramel nuts, crisp. Uh, I guess caramel. Nuts is pretty good too, though. I'm sure, someone mentioned it during the trial for Mia's murder. That was the incident where the police were so at a loss they used a spirit medium. Wait, you don't mean? Was that medium my mother? Yes, my dear. The spirit's medium, Misty Fay, your mother, uh, contacted the spirit of the victim. But the case was lost. Uh, no conviction was made. Right, I was actually going to talk about these chocolate bars because uh, they have like six different flavors. There's wafer, milk chocolate, dark chocolate. Uh, I imagine that's like wafer crisp, almond, and caramel. I love the caramel. Yeah, caramel's, caramel's really good. Caramel is really good. Uh, I imagine I'd probably enjoy the wafer and the wafer crisp. I'd probably like wafer too. Uh, caramel is even better when you say it right. Caramel? Caramel? Caramel. 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 Shut up! Cause I, cause I care about it. <laughs> oh. Honk. Happened 15 years ago. It was a very strange case indeed. They never caught the criminal, right? Correct. Misty Fate used her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. Her testimony led to charges being laid against one man. But Hammond oh won the case. My. <laughs> so, you, you were know typing. what I'm typing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I wanted to do an entire like phrase I did, so shift up. <laughs> I love typing with the keyboard board on. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm... change that to something else. No, it's fine. I don't care. <laughs> they haven't won the case, and the suspect was declared innocent. Caramel, not a caramel, not a caramel, not caramel. Caramel, not a caramel in the world. It is caramel. She's right. And the police blamed my mother for calling her a fraud. I did it again. Fantastic. <laughs> Thanks, George. <laughs> Very serious moment. My, they called my mother a fraud. Oh my. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna. 
There you go. Now, now I won't make it another mistake again. Do it again. <laughs> Ooh, <my. laughs> no, it's not right because it's my keypad. It's not the keypad. The number pad is the actual key. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm an idiot. You uh, killed me. Good. You were the one who helped her out then, right, Mr. Grossberg? Yes, quite. Thanks. No, please don't mention it. Whew. Never thought I'd hear that name again. Wait, what does that case have anything to do with Edgeworth? It has everything to do with him, my dear. The victim in the incident was none other than his father, Gregory Edgeworth. Ooh. What, his father? If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this, I'm sure he'll talk to you. Wait, this is a photograph of my mother. And the same picture from the very first case, so that's really cool. Uh, alright. Oh, Miles. Waving your nubs. No, wait, you gotta stay. You have to. You have to. You have to. But I'm, I'm just an idiot, okay? We, we should all just come to the agreement that I'm an idiot and I don't know what my keys do, because I'm dumb and, yeah. Hi, stop it, you. Stop it. Stop it. Hm, not what I was going for, but it works. I was hoping you'd gotten my message the first time. Edgeworth, what about your defense? It's no concern of yours. Guess he hasn't found anyone yet. Can I ask you about the murder? Right, I'll ask you again, just leave me alone. Please try to understand. I'm not doing this to prove I'm tough or because I look down on you. I just don't want you anywhere near this case. Okay. Why'd you go to uh, work? I have time for uh, shipped up. Oh boy. I have no intention of telling you. Nor apparently would you tell Gumshoe. <laughs> that face. Um, what is it? Oh, you're gonna have to wait for me to actually accidentally do it. God dang it. <laughs> Gumshoe was really worried about you. What a tease. Alright. Misty Fay. Edgeworth? It's only been a matter of hours since you last visited. Yet you've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit it, I'm impressed, right? You were always single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? About hey, that's a mood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> About the DL6 in incident. Stubborn. It's great. I got small brain. Huh? I got small brain, so I, I tend to hyperfix it on something until I get it done. Huh. I guess that works. I'm just stubborn. I and and not a quitter, usually. I mean, I'm... I, if I get bored of something because it's taking way too long to do, I'll just give up on it. But yeah. if it's like, yeah, I can knock this out. It's no big deal. Boredom, boredom's a big... Boredom or stress oh, yeah. is a big Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! bad. I didn't want you to find out about it. That is why I refused your or offer to defend me. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. I just wanted to keep you away from DL6. So do you still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know, but I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well, ask whatever you like, and I will answer to the best of my abilities. The sixth incident. The incident was when my father died. Right before my eyes. He was shot and killed and I saw it all. My memories from that time are foggy. I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, the suspect was arrested, a man. It's pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond is the victim in the Gord Lake murder. Correct. That's Merit medium. That was my mom. 
What? You mean you're... It's strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end, and now this. About to end? The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago on December 28th. Statute of Limit... Statute... Uh, statute? No, no, no. Of limitations on the case runs out of statute. three days. Statute. Okay. Yes, statute. I'm sure I've heard of it before, but... Uh, Nick, what does that mean? When a case's statute of limitations runs out legally, the case never happened. Three days from now, DL6 will be closed forever. What happened to the suspect, the one who got off incident? Innocent. I don't know. He disappeared from public view. Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he's he'd be about 50 years old now. I guess I can understand why he'd go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in such a big case. So was your father a lawyer? He was. Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps. I'd rather not talk about it. Kind of saw that coming. Um. Alright, let me show him some stuff. I'm not in the mood for Idle Banner. Sorry, I can't think of anything I want to say about that. Who would have thought there'd be a photo? Edgeworth, did you shoot him? What do you think, right? I don't think you're the kind of pointed gun at anyone now. So you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. It pains me to ask you this now. I know, you want us to defend you. Yes, will you? No. <laughs> Who could have guessed this day would come? Not me. This is my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Pay me back? For what? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. Never mind, I guess you don't really need to know. My letter of request. Please give it to Gumshoe. Hmm. Guess we should uh, skedaddle. Is there an earthquake? <laughs> Happening. It's a big one. It's calming down. That was scary. Where, where's Edgeworth? <laughs> He's on the floor in a ball, shivering. <laughs> I guess he doesn't do so well with earthquakes. Poor dude. I've heard of running, but curling up in a ball? Well, I guess we're done. <sighs> I really wish this wasn't just... I want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Visual novels. Man, uh, Edgeworth doesn't seem like he's going to stay out of any time soon. Let's go, Nick. I love that that's... <laughs> we have to give Edgeworth's letter request to come shoot. Also, for, for anyone who's curious what uh, Richard Hammond looks like, uh, there's a picture of him in voice chat. Hmm. You know, for those who aren't familiar with Top Gear, like I'm not. Yeah, me either. Um, but yeah, no, that's that's pretty. Uh, I can see the resemblance. Hmm. What's going on here? What's wrong, detective? This wild lady comes in here just a while ago. Says she come came to talk to y'all after hearing what Mr. Wright had to say. What's this all about, pal? What a heart. Why are you going around fighting more witnesses? Do you want to give Edgeworth the death sentence, pal? <clears throat> no, not at all. Just, uh, I mean, she did see something. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't go around covering up evidence. Yeah, I guess you're right. You trying to say something about the way I do my job? No. <laughs> hmm. So, what did Hart say? She says she saw Edgeworth fire the pistol. What? She even had a photograph to prove it. Right, I saw it too. But you really can't tell from the photo who it is shooting. That's why she said she's going to enlarge the photo. She said it'll drop the quality it might, but would let us see who's who. She could do that? <laughs> okay, so there's going to be an enlarged photograph that shows Edgeworth in the act. Great. 
In any case, she's going to be the one testifying tomorrow. What happened to the other witness? Well, apparently there was a cancellation. What? <laughs> cancellation? I'm afraid tomorrow is going to be life or death for poor Edgeworth. We got a witness who says she saw the very moment of the murder. And we got a photo taken when the shot rang out. I'd say that sounds like a pretty unwinnable case. But wait, what did Mia used to say? If he's innocent, there's got to be something I've overlooked. Sounds like Edgeworth is going to ask the state to assign a public defender. I was just asked to file the paperwork. But you still got time, pal. Go talk to him again, for me, please. You have to convince him. You have to make him let you defend him, please! I know you're the only one who can do it, pal. You're the only one who can save him. Oops, uh, I'm all about that. Look what I got! Hey, you did it, pal. Glad I waited till those last minute <laughs> until the last minute to file those papers. I'll rip them up and start new ones for you. Do you think the anime... I kind of want to start watching the anime. <laughs> I, I hope it, Do it follows... It probably follows the same beats. Yeah, finish the game first, then watch anime. Well, no, I, I figured I'd stop at, you know, case uh, four, you know. Uh, yeah. But I can watch the first three cases, depending on, I don't know, I can figure it out. But yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't watch past where I am. That would be Not, dumb. That's fair, yeah. <laughs> uh, see you in court tomorrow, then. Good luck, pal. Hey, you guys feel that earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Worried? We're fine. I didn't get to see that. Uh, I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Edgeworth. Alright. He did seem to overreact a little now that you mention it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big quake. I'm gonna go check on him. You two go eat and get your rest for tomorrow's trial. I wonder what it is with Edgeworth and earthquakes. I wonder. He was never that scared of them when we, uh, he was in school. Then again, I only really got to know him in fourth grade. He transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to him. Hmm. To be continued. Alright. Well, I could either stop here or do the trial tomorrow. but I f or, or next time. But I feel like I should just do the trial. What do you think? Yeah, I'll tell you... This would be a good time to stop, because the trial would take you a little bit. Yeah. Oh. Given how trials have taken you so far, yeah. I think stopping here for right now would be a good idea. Eh, alright. Because hmm. you've been on for three hours, that's like... Twitch likes if you stream for at least three hours. Hmm. You could go for long if you want, but it is almost one. If not already one. It's so, noon. midnight for you. Yeah, it's noon. It, it, it's... Noon a.m. Did, did you say it's noon? It's noon a.m. I hate you. Um, <laughs> I'm not wrong. It's also midnight p.m. <laughs> All right, I'll stop here then. Uh, that's probably for the best. Hopefully, I'm an idiot. what? I'm just saying, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Uh, get the hell out of my <laughs> yeah. Hey, dude. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to sleep. <laughs> okay. Hopefully next week I don't... <sighs> well, it shouldn't be too bad if it's a weekly thing, but, like, the two weeks thing, that screwed me up. Also... Y yeah, I, I think weekly is not a bad idea. Yeah. November uh, 1st to 8th is going to suck because I'm, I'm on vacation. Uh, so... There's going to be a two-week gap between whatever is next week and after that. Or, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Join me next time for more uh, trials. Adios. That's the wrong one. Do it again. Uh... 
Uh-huh. Bye. There you go. There you go.